and welcome to Tales from the Backlog. I am Steve Boshear, and I'm not doing anything important this evening. Uh, with me, as always, but rarely on camera, is this one. Hello. I'm Sarah. Who else is there? Uh, I'm Matt. Matt and Jason at the same time. Right. So, um, well-oiled machine. <laughs> uh, as you know, if you watch our stream, we do this every Monday night. Uh, we like to do different tabletop RPGs every Monday night at 8:30 Pacific Standard Time. This week is Monster of the Week. Are you wearing your mic? Yeah. Oh, Cody says you're very quiet. Can you hear me now, Cody? I can just turn you up. Okay. There we go. Ah, All right. we're good. So, um, thank you, Cody. Cody's in the chat. Cody was with us for Wander Home and Honey Heist and Tales from... No, this whole show is called Tales from the Backlog. Blades in the Dark <laughs> is the one he was with us for. Uh... And Jason and Matt have been with us for several others. And Sarah, you, this is your second time on the show? Beautiful Space Pirates and then this, right? Um, I did Honey Heist. Not with uh, us. Not with us. Wait, you did it on the other show, which I'll get to in a second. I did on the other show, and I did Survive the Night. Also on the other show. On the other show. This one's then only yeah. been around since December. So uh, the other show is Friday nights, uh, also at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time. I run a... Fifth edition uh, game, which is weekly and ongoing, about to do, I think I said this last week, but I was wrong. This week it's true. Episode 69 this week on Friday. Ooh. I know, right? It's a lot of, it's a lot of shows. <clears throat> and that number has no other significance. So, um, yeah, come check us out over there. We occasionally do one shots over there. Um, mostly since this show has started, we save the non D and D ones for Mondays. But on Fridays, we will occasionally do a one shot that's loosely related to the main campaign over there. Um, that's it for our announcements for tonight. Oh, I did want to say next week we have survived the night, and then we have a week off from this show, and we'll come back with Star Trek Adventures. So, uh, tonight, as I mentioned, I am not running the show. That will be the lovely Jason. Yay! Why don't you uh, give us a hint what we're in for here, bud? All righty. So, we're playing Monster of the Week, which is from the Powered by the Apocalypse series of, or lineage of games. Um, think something in the vein of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Supernatural like that sort of deal um yeah so the big premise i'm running off with here is that a massive earthquake demolishes a small city in the heart of the usa rumors spread of spirits monsters and worse crawling forth from the cracked earth unable to drive this evil unable to drive this evil on back the military quickly moves to contain it in record time, they erect a huge wall, sealing the ruins off from the wider world. Years pass, and with no apparent expansion, society moves moved on, content to, to let the ruined cities lie silent. But now, a full decade later, a strange, a strange malevolence stirs there. The end begins. Uh, so... First things first, uh, if everyone wants to real quick introduce their characters, and when you're when we're doing these character introductions, let's also get do our history, which is going to be your characters' interpersonal connections with each other. Uh, does anyone want to start with those? Uh, I will start. So I am playing David King. The Initiate, I am a modern-day paladin from an ancient order that hunts down and destroys monsters uh, for the benefit of mankind. 
Um, should we go through our introductions first and then go around again for histories? Yeah, let's, that sounds, let's do that. Okay. Just to get, so everyone's got an idea who everyone is on camera. Um, Matt? You're muted. Apologize. I'll be playing Eon Skyrover, uh, the Chosen. He is a uh, burnt out, uh, like an adult, not a, not a super old adult, but he's technically an adult. And uh, some some guy just told me that I was the chosen one, um, and so I'm out to find my path and seal my fate. All right. Sounds exciting. Cool, cool, cool. Sniffer? That's me. Uh, yeah, uh, it is Smith, but everybody calls me Sniffer. Uh, yeah, I, I am a, a, the Flake, which I resent as a title, because what I am is the person who connects the dots and puts it all together. Uh, everything is connected. Uh, and I can see the patterns, and I can clearly see what's happening around me, even if nobody else can. And and I'm just so glad that, you know, I finally found these guys, because it's nice not to be around people who think I'm crazy, or at least think I'm less crazy than everybody else does. All right. Monsters are real. Sounds good. So, Steve. Yes, sir. If you want to go through your uh, history, so the history is basically going around the group again on, for each person, pick one of those histories to apply to one of the other hunters. I believe that uh, my, my companions don't always uh, agree with my interpretations of the sacred texts. Um, but I believe in my heart of hearts that Eon Skyrover is the one described in our ancient prophecies. But the role he will play isn't stated. We must, uh, we must work to make sure that he is a force for good. And okay. then there, there is my friend Smith. Yo. I know that other people sometimes call Smith by a nickname that she does not like, but I will uh, always call her by her real name because that's the kind of person that I am. Yep. We fought together once when the tides of monsters seemed unstoppable. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, I'm going to say from my perspective i feel like it went pretty good because we walked away from it with all of our limbs intact which is you know better than a lot of people do uh better than some other people who were there uh and yeah uh i'm gonna say that uh, uh smith considered that a, a victory uh i don't know if if you did as much because i'd say we uh failed to save the people that we went in there to to save but we survived well we saved each other and yes. sometimes that's all you can do yep we must take the victories where we can get them yep oh. all, right. all right that that said sniffer oh it's me okay yeah um well then i'm gonna say uh, that I, uh, I met Eon, uh, because, uh, there's a couple here that I could go with. I'm just going to go with my, uh, my gut is the signs all pointed to working together. So I found you and now we work together. And if you want, I can be the person who showed up and told you you're the chosen one. Uh, it's up to you if that kind of works with your story or not, or if I just came rolled up on you a, a different uh, way. 
Uh, well, I think you are the person that told him. The only question is whether you're the first person. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and for uh, my buddy over here, um, I would say uh, we uh, we went through hell together. That yeah, last thing that's that the we, same thing yeah, I said. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we can we can match on that. But the thing about that was that it bound us together, and now we have total trust in each other. So yeah. Can't do that with anyone else here. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh look at that we did it again <laughs> we I just can't that. stop it we just can't stop Eon. all right well uh sniffer was not the first person to tell me that i was the chosen one oh. uh, it was actually my uncle yeah um, he kept showing me stuff on like dollar bills and trying to explain the declaration of independence <laughs> to me oh no and I was like, dude, you're weird, uncle. Um, but the the first time that I did meet Sniffer, she was explaining uh, to David, and it was just kind of like how everything fits together, and it was just this insane uh, explanation, not unlike uh, having a bunch of like strings tied together with push pins and stuff on a board. Just yeah, the verbal really equivalent connect, of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the verbal equivalent of that, where you're just like, where where is this going? And by the end, you still don't know where it's going, um, but she does. Yeah, Smith always and, knows where it's going. It's, and because it's of that, it's unfair I, to other people I, how good I am at that. I think she's destined to be my mentor as a result of just constantly knowing how all the pieces fit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. And as for David, um. David and I are just, we're best friends. Uh, I trust him totally. Known him for a long time and I just uh, respect and appreciate his feedback and direction. Nice. Cool. All right. Cool. Well, so one thing that's kind of different about what we're doing with this specific run of Monster of the Week is we're running it as a one shot. Um, so one thing I'd like you all to do with your character sheet is you see all those, um, luck boxes you have there. Yeah. Can you scratch out three of those for me? This is a very unlucky night. Yep. Well, I mean, you got, you all been around for a little bit. It helps up, up the stakes. <laughs> okay. When you're done with that. Um, look to your the first set of improvements oh. and choose one of those. Right. Oh, that's an easy choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was Good. one there was a there was one that I wanted that I didn't get. All right. Good. It's just beefing y'all up a little bit. Hopefully hopefully y'all won't steamroll with me too much. All right. And when you're done with that, just let me know. I am finished. I have taken a plus one to cool. Nice. If there's one thing David King is good at, it's keeping his cool. <laughs> it's not true. If there's three things David King is good at, the last one is keeping his cool. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. I've already got plus two to kick some ass, and I've got plus two to weird, or plus... Plus two to tough and plus two to weird. Nice. Uh, did everyone else take an advancement? Yeah. Uh, it's on that page. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, I'm just debating what I want. Sorry. Yep, that's cool. Um, I'll take a. Uh, I'll take another uh, another move, a flake move. Yeah. And I'm gonna take. Oh, what the heck. I will take uh, Sneaky. 
I get an extra plus two if I attack from ambush. Nice. And Man. Eon, have you Yeah. Eon, did you did you take an advance? Yes, yeah, so I gave myself a uh plus plus one uh to my charm, which makes it a zero. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's that's better than negative, right? Yes, it yes. is. By All right. I wanted uh, to up my tough because right now I've got negative one to tough, but that wasn't one of my options. That's why <laughs> I was stuck for so long. I was like, but no. Don't worry. All right. David's here. Sniffer. Um, Yo. Real quick, did you take connect the dots? I sure did. So I get to oh, yeah. Yeah. Though you all got something to do. We we're yep. gonna, I'm going to go in counterclockwise order for this. So, uh, okay. So, um, Eon, we're gonna we're you are Destiny's plaything. Can you roll plus weird for me? Uh, yeah. So I got a seven. All together? Yeah. Oh. All right. I see. Oh. This game is designed so that statistically you fail more than you succeed. Ah. It's actually designed so you succeed more than you fail when you look at it. Not when but you look at the numbers, man. Well, not with that <laughs> negative one to weird. <laughs> well, I mean, even when you succeed, if it's not a super succeed, it's partly a fail. No, this is just so... In the, in the nights preceding this, you get um, you get flashes in your dreams about a golden cross, but that's all you can remember about it. Golden cross. Uh, Sniffer. Yo. Can you roll me? We're, we are going to connect some dots here, and can you roll me plus sharp? Oh dear, that was not good at all. Uh, that's gonna be <laughs> uh, that's gonna be a six. I'm cool. screwed. <laughs> no, that just means there's you have, you have not connected any dots yet. Ah! Okay. Or at least for this mystery. Yep. <clears throat> and David. One of us has to roll. Are you well. in good standing with your sect right now? Yes, I am. I'm one of their greatest hunters. Excellent. So roll me plus charm. There's only three of us, but I'm one of the best. <laughs> I got a five with a minus one. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> How about if I use one of my luck right now and and call that a 12? <laughs> I'm, I am down with that. I am 100% um, doing that. Okay. okay. Um, give me just a bit, though, because yeah. I need to come up with something good for... What's your sect's name, David? Um, it's, it's in Aramaic, and it doesn't That's really cool. have a... Name? Yeah. We just call it the order. Oh, you stay right there. So the order, upon uh, hearing that you were traveling out to this ruined city, has asked you to... Well, if she turned... Did you turn your roll into a 12 or mine? Yeah, mine. No, her roll into a 12. Okay. Um, the Order would like you to bring back the head of the witch Lavinia. 
Oh, cool. Is it? I think so at this time. Good. <laughs> so I know. You want to be on camera, too. I know. Everyone loves you. All right. So, Sniffer. Yo. Going back to that, going back to that 12 on yes. Connect the Dots. So lucky. Good roll. Going to cross that so, luck off right there. Yeah. So, now you have three hold. Hell yeah. So, at any point during this mystery, you see them... Two, three. Those five questions there. Yep. You can spend a hold to ask one of those questions. Cool. Uh, the last one in that line, I wouldn't really recommend, but that's just me. Yep. And because there's no real bigger picture right now. Yeah. Yeah. Questions four and five are pretty much off the table. Yeah. yeah. All right. No worries. Right. It's worth it. Cool. Yeah, no, that's yep. excellent. All right. So this, oh, fuck, where did I put that? All right. I spend so, a hold to find out where you put that. Yeah, basically. Yes. Yeah, I know. You're right here and you want attention because I'm on, I'm being recorded. I know. Uh, all right. So the city you're trying, the city you're getting into is basically walled all the way around um, north east east to north to west and to the south is a is a river um, it as you as you approach the city you've learned about this this area what you can you've tapped into what resources you have because the mili the military is guarding this um, sniffer you're Former military, right? Yes. So you've probably you've probably still got some friends there who are willing to like you know let you in a little bit what they can. Um, yeah. And you know that the, there's a couple bridges that can get that could get into this city, mm -hmm. but the, the river itself is actually filled with monsters. Like they they don't they they, they act a little like you might think they're kind of crazy when they tell you that, but I there don't think rivers, anybody's crazy. The river. Um, and I am curious, how, from what direction are y'all getting into this city? In my opinion, we will have an easier time coming from the north, but we will make a bigger dent in the monster population if we successfully enter from the south. Well, it's, I mean, if you're entering from the south, it's going to be from one of those, t if there's, there, you'd be basically taking a bridge over, over the river. Uh, the monster filled river. Yes. Yeah. It is a monster filled river. How big are these walls and how could we? Um, they're, I'd say maybe a couple stories high. It's not too um, bad with a rope. Yeah, it's it's. I'm not. I, we're not going for like absurd, mile high walls here. They're 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 reasonable walls. Um, they are guarded, although there are probably points along them where that guarding is deficient. Or in the preceding decade, the wall has broken down a bit. Given what is rumored to be within the city, is it a fair assumption that the guards are usually facing in? Yes. Yes, it is. We might be able to scale the wall without being noticed if we went right between two guard posts. Yeah. And I have a question just for clarification. I'm assuming yes. that our purpose in getting in is that we think something real bad's about to happen and it's building up towards some sort of evil explosion uh evil crisis event uh at least that's what sniffer's taken away from that introduction uh does that match with uh with eon and and david's uh take on the situation here i go where the lord leads me all right I you always say that tells me. all right well i guess i'm the one that made the call and said we're going here so yeah, um, I'm down with the wall. Uh, wall climbing sounds good. 
uh, not looking to uh, make a huge splash, ha 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 ha, going in. We can make it subtle, let's do it. Nice. All Sniffer right. looks well, again, looks around, and once again wonders how the hell she wound up in charge of uh, <laughs> making this decision. It's there. David it's there. smirks internally, allowing Smith to think she's in charge. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, how are we all approaching this wall? Uh, well, I'm going to say since my military buddies tipped me off to kind of the inside scoop, uh, I'm going to. Let them know we, you know, we're we want to go in. We're gonna solve this problem. I'm gonna say I probably cut a deal with somebody like, hey, you know, we're expendable external contractors. Let us go in, and if we make it out alive, we'll tell you what we found. And if not, no skin off your nose, right? Well, you know what? That's that sounds like you're trying to influence a normal sort of person. Yep. Um. So you know, roll me plus charm. Uh, is this manipulating somebody? Yes, yes it is. So I can actually substitute as one of my feats. Uh, I can use sharp instead of charm when I manipulate somebody. The nice. sheer power of my mind. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and roll my, uh, my sharp and convince somebody <laughs> that I'm right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, double sixes, so that's gonna be a fourteen. Oh, hot damn! I know oh, how to manipulate people in the military. There's well, they're, one thing I know how to do. Well, they're definitely gonna do this for the reasons you gave them. Yep. Um, your your old military buddy, like, lets you in on what the uh, the guard rotation, mm -hmm. and honestly, these. They're pretty sympathetic to what you're trying to do, um, even if they can't really give you any direct help. So, yeah, they, they definitely give you um, guard rotations, uh, good spot. Like, he gives you a good I mean, with, with that, he's going to give you a good spot to get over, or maybe it's going to be a little less climbing, um, or at least a little less, like, straight up climbing. You'll probably still have to climb some stairs, but you know, nearby buildings, whatnot. Um, yeah, so you're in. Um, All right. Cool, so, we're in. So what do we see in here? Yeah, so when, when you get, like, so you drop down from the wall and you start heading towards the center of the city and you know, basically what you're, the area you're passing through right now is just, it's cracked, not, not cracked out, but like cracked up, um, suburbia, just, you know, like Midwest houses, but the, the ground is cracked. There's, there's definite gaps. Uh, like it's got a bit of that silent hill feeling, but without the, without the, uh, fog, um, mm -hmm. Just kind of lonely, semi-desolate. Uh, you do see some, like, from time to time, you do see movement. But you, you were, unless you're going to try and track it down, um, it's it's fleeting and it's, you know, corner of the eye. Like, <clears throat> sorry, yeah. it's your leg. Um, you know, it's it's nothing that seems to be coming after you. So much as just observing that you're there. Um, it could potentially be like residents who are stuck, who have been stuck in this this place for you know the last decade. Oh, people. Uh, There's you know, survivors. They probably couldn't get everybody out. Interesting. That was not me. That was me. Sorry. That's okay. It's very loud. I would like to look at what the future holds. This is a uh, special move that I have. Fortunes. Mm. Uh, 
where I look at the ancient uh, prophecies or divination techniques of my sect, the Order, and see if I can get any information on what has happened to this city and how best to deal with it. So I'm going to roll. Yeah, go for it. I got a... I have a nine. Cool. You, that's going to give you one hold. Okay. So that you, know, you, you can spend that on doing any one of those things um, when needed. I am and, going to hold on to it for yeah, now. Yeah, no, that's yeah, that's good. Yep. I would like to go ahead. I'm going to spend one of my holds, and uh, Jason, I'm going to ask you when and where will the next critical event occur. And this is this is representing Sniffer's research before we went in. No, uh, that's. So your research, your, uh, what's like, I mean, outside of everything, what sort of stuff were you consulting? Uh, I'm going to say that uh, I've been monitoring, especially military channels and local civilian ham radio and internet reports, uh, suggesting that more monsters are getting out, uh, which to me indicates that there's a greater population of monsters inside the city. Like there's, I'm assuming that's what we're talking about, like the, an increase of monsters. Yeah. So I have been able to triangulate based on satellite imagery and lots of like blown up maps with lots of red string and thumbtacks. Uh, I'm going to say I'm looking for like the hell mouth, as it were. Uh, I'm looking for kind of the, uh, any sources okay. of like where these where the eruption happened assuming that that's yeah. or where the monsters are currently coming from i'm looking for a location and i'm looking for yeah, some sort of time frame in terms of like you know how they always say in serial killers his pace is accelerating like i'm looking for like a like at this point no. yeah this no, is I, like the I zero okay. yeah so i mean this is like recently, like, mm -hmm. and by recently, like in the last few days, uh, the like monster reports on the wall have gone have skyrocketed. Yeah. Uh, they're getting more activity, uh, more engagement, like in the last day than they've had in the last five years. Uh, which is not to say it's been huge, it's just been significantly, it's been very quiet for the last decade. Um, but it, between that, um, reports, so you, like, you know that there are regular people in here. Uh -huh. um, because you've heard ham, that they're ham radio signals, trying to get messages, still trying to get messages out. Um, the, the, Excuse me. The gro the growth of monster activity has been spreading mo mostly from the downtown area, just north of the river. Okay. Which is the the downtown area is just like river, downtown, rest of city. Okay, yeah, got it. And do we have some sort of time frame? Um, you don't have a definite time frame, but it seems like th things are not so much accelerating as you were getting early, like very early, like title, like title wave um, premonition. Okay. Like it's, it, the shit is going down and it is going to go down soon. Got it. Okay. All right. So that answers when and where the next critical event will occur. We got to go downtown. And I guess the when is now. Like as fast as we can get there. Well, now and now in like the next couple, like in the next few days. 
All right. Uh, like it's, but it's it's growing. It's growing fast. All right. So we are making our way downtown, as it were. All right. All right. Let's go. Um. Yeah. Sniffer says and points down the wrong street. As we and go, David points her like that way. As we go, I would like to investigate a mystery. I need to find this Lavinia. If she is a creature of darkness, and I have been ordered to bring her head. So, what what are you doing to investigate this mystery? Um. I am looking for a place where something might be living. A witch is a type of creature that uh, I don't I don't know what witches are in this setting, but I'm I'm assuming they're they're not regular humans, but that they are physical beings that require a place to live. Um, so I I'm looking for I'm looking for such a place that might be might be a hold a hole up for someone that. Uh, some sort of intelligent being. Or signs of it. Eight. Hey, I actually got a good roll. I got a ten on that. Nice. So, again, you've got two hold for, for this mystery investigation. Right. Uh, for those questions right there. Yeah, so... um Do you want to ask any of them right now? Yeah, I'm going to ask one right now, and that will be, yeah. uh, where did it go? I'm assuming my information said that it was in the city, so where did it go? So before you left, one of your, uh, one of your, your sworn brothers, members of the order, took you aside and, to and told you specifically that that the witch Lavinia resides near the old university campus. Aha. Uh -huh. Which going in would have been uh, a few miles, it, it'd be a few miles north of downtown. So it's still, you all came in from the north, right? Yeah. Okay, so it is between where you are now and downtown. So we are headed past there anyway. Cool. Yes. I have a question. How much have you told yes. us? I'm oh, not just Jason, about to tell yes. you. <laughs> um, I, I feel that I would have told you guys about my mission before we came in here. I'm not a secret keeper unless it's necessary. But uh, at this point, I will say... To both of you, um, the witch is believed to be holed up on the university campus. We should be passing by there on our way to downtown. We should seek her out and destroy her. Cool. I, I mean, can, is this kind of like maybe a thing we can do after? we you know take out the bigger problem i mean not that there is no problem bigger than the influence of evil on the mortal world if we close a portal but leave the monsters that came out of it alive what have we accomplished well we've closed a portal we get stop the more monsters from coming out and then we kill the monsters that are here. So you would like us to walk right past her, go risk our lives doing something far more dangerous, and potentially leave her alive. When we all die. Eh. I would, I... I'm simply saying I'd prefer to have at least this one problem taken care of before we all go get killed. Oh. Just in I, case. If it doesn't take too long, we can stop and kill the witch on the way. Witches are not that dangerous if they... Well, then why are we killing her? They're not that I'm dangerous. I'm a little uncomfortable with this. I'm They're not going to lie. They're not that dangerous to us. 
to regular people, terrifying. We don't even know what she's done wrong. Well, she's a witch. Well, she's a witch. There's lots of witches that just like enjoy, I don't know, reading tarot cards. And... I mean, honestly, I I I got I got to get the I mean, there's a keepers lot of definitions of witch. I've got to get the keepers input age. on this because David's yes, comfort level good, with murdering yeah. this person is going to be contingent on whether this is a person. Like in some settings, a witch is a completely non-human entity, and in others, it's <laughs> not that at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what you have been told by your order is that they want you to bring them the head of the witch Lavinia. Okay. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of witches out there. So this may be like a, ha- a nightmare hag from the bottom of a swamp, or it may be like a practitioner of Wicca, <laughs> or anything yep. in between. Yep. And Sniffer thinks about that a second and says, you know what? Tell you what, let's go. Let's let's find her. Let's find this Lavinia. And then I trust you, David, to do the right thing. It is my responsibility. Yep. Cool. How are you doing, Ian? I'm doing good. I'm I'm interested in letting David uh, collect his prize. Um, I w- I would like to uh, read a bad situation, just just to uh, participate a little. <laughs> okay. Well, what so, are you doing to re- what What are you doing to read this bad situation? Well, we just got into this city that's uh, infested and. You know, has a portal and a witch, so I just want to make sure that we haven't missed anything before we just start walking into all kinds of trouble. All right, well, roll me plus sharp. Sue. So, uh, plus sharp is going to be a nine. Nice. So that's going to give you one hold. Um, You see the questions there on that? I do. You can ask me any one of those when you want to when you want to call in that hold. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to it for now as we start to head downtown. All right. Walking fast. Face is past. But you're not homebound. Uh. Ah. They're monsters. Oh no. Um, yeah, so you all are heading, um, the, the university area is really easy to find. It's basically just due south of where y'all are headed. Um, what you find when you get to the university is that the, a nearby park has basically begun to overtake the, it's overtaken the most of the campus, um, and a lot of the surrounding community. Um, so everything's really green. Uh, nature is healing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's basically nature reclaiming the area. You know what? Give me a, give me a hot sec. Sounds like witchcraft. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's all that I had written down for that. Cool. Um, yeah, so it's basically... Um, a very verdant area has been re- as is reclaiming this this neighborhood. Um, what exactly are y'all doing to look for this witch? Other well, than just looking around. I think Eon had a point. It hasn't been so long that a park should suddenly turn into nature reclaiming the university campus uh there there may be witchcraft afoot here um i am going to uh i mean a campus is a big place but i think what i would like to do is look for where the campus and the park intersect now okay that's i mean that's pretty easy to find where uh the edge of like there, there are, like there are roads all around this. I mean, this is maybe 
like, like two, like, I'd say, like, I mean, the area I'm thinking is maybe like, th like three city blocks square. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to find where the campus edges up on the woods. Uh, there's a, there's actually a large tower there. Uh, half, it's not half demolished, but it, like the, it, there was a large tower there, let me say, because the top of it has fallen off. So there's just this concrete ruin remaining there. Uh, what what are you looking for at the edge of the campus? Well, I'm looking for the home of a witch that might be, for some reason, summoning nature to invade the man-made area. Um, the tower sounds promising. I would like to see if I can get into it. Uh, yeah, you can get into it. Um, it's, I mean, this was like a eight, ten story tall tower, and now it's only got about half of that. So there's still a few floors. Um, when you get in, like you, you enter through, there's, there's basically just a, a front doorway. You, you are, there are signs that this is lived in. Okay. Uh, you, you see footprints that obviously are going to and from the, to and from the entrance. I would like to draw my ax and my knife in a dual wielding fashion. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, it is a silver knife. Um, and I will just be on guard as I continue to explore the tower looking for a witch or some other creature who might live here. Uh, Sniffer, Eon. Yeah. Are you following? Yes, and I'm going to investigate a mystery uh, when I do, where I'm okay. going to try what is being concealed here. Did you already investigate a mystery? No, actually, I haven't. I okay, cool. used then... my, yeah, my connect the dots so, move. Real, oh, right. I did that. I can yes, you yes, you did. Sorry, I'm trying to keep track in my head a bit of who's got hold of what. I have one hold for that and one for my special move that I did at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I've just done my basic move so far. And I well, manipulated somebody. Um, so what, what exactly are you doing to investigate this uh, this tower like, uh, you, like you're walking up to it it's um, it's at the edge of the road it's, it's on a road mm -hmm. uh, it's half fallen down and from what you can see um, leading up to it up to the entrance of it is there are obvious signs of people coming and going from it okay or beings coming and going from it it's it's munched down greenery. Uh, well, I'm looking for what is being concealed here. So I'm going to draw kind of on my military background in particular. I'm looking for signs of an ambush, signs of traps, uh, or signs that like this is a, a drop point where people hide contraband. Uh, so that's sort of like... Uh, investigation where I'm used to like looking for signs of enemy behavior. Okay. So um, if, unless you have a move that does, that has you do otherwise, I'm going to have your roll plus sharp. Yes. That was, that was okay. I rolled a seven. Okay. So 
you've got one hold to ask a question off oh. this list. Okay. Um, uh, well, I can just go straight to it, right? Because I want to oh, know what's okay. being concealed here. Yeah, you, well, you know that there's... Um, you, you've already figured out that there is habitation being concealed here. Uh, um, do you want to ask one of the other questions? Okay. Um, ooh. Um, what sort of creature is it? All righty. So you hunt around in, like, you're, you're looking around, um, doing your investigation thing, and excuse me. Um, you're basically, like, what you find is the kind of scat you'd, you'd associate with, like, People living in a semi-functioning, um, like dwelling. Yeah. So there's there seems to be like a garbage pile, uh, a a like compost pile, um, like th there's there's yep. the scent and residue of ha of people living here. Yes, without you know, like plumbing in this or. Building. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you, okay. Um, Eon, do you do you want to do anything here, or are you just? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna uh, use my hold, um, just to see if there's anything that we've missed or any any danger um, that we haven't hold noticed. From, um, read a bad sitch. Yeah. All right. So what? Which question did you want to ask? Is there anything we, any dangers we haven't noticed? All righty. So while David is advancing into the building, prop, David, you're advancing into the building proper? Yes. Okay. Well, David is doing that, and Sniffer seems to be looking around at the stuff around the tower. Um, you notice from some of the upper windows, there's some people looking down at you uh, with drawn bows. Oh, rad. Those are the dangers you haven't noticed. So I'm going to notice those and uh, definitely alert uh, David and Sniffer as best as I can. Um, th there's people watching us and they have us targeted. Um, you said drawn bows. Are they firing? They have, no, they're just really well illustrated. Um, yeah. No, they're <laughs> not shooting at you. Are you noticing? Are you obviously noticing them? Uh, well, Eon said he is pointing them out to us. So if Are you, okay, you're specifically pointing. Uh, no, I am just saying, hey, David, I see people in the windows with bows drawn. I'm going to say... volume that David can hear me. Okay. I'm going to say to Eon and to Smith, come to the doorway. They can't shoot straight down. If we step inside, we'll be safe from that, at least. I'm down with that. I will go. Yep. I go as well. So cool. once... So, I mean, inside. Yeah. Uh, once we're inside, I'm going to say to Eon, um, you saw people, human people. Yes, Eon, you saw human people. Yes, I saw human people. And with I'll, bows. yeah, and I'll add my like this. Yeah, this is humans. This this is a human settlement. This isn't monsters that live here. We found the people. 
I'm going to stay in the door frame with the door open and call up to them. Hello. Who? A voice travels down. Who are you? What do you want here? I am David. I am an of, of an order of monster, monster hunters. I have come to do battle with those that threaten humanity. Yeah, but what do you want here? I was told that a dark creature of some sort lives near the university. I was coming to try and find it and destroy it. You hear the sound of the elevator shaft behind you open and a, a person come, a man comes out. Well then definitely come in, come in. Let, a, let us, let us counsel about this. Rad. Wait. I walk right in. Wait. Uh. <laughs> I have my silver knife in my hand and I'm just going to hold it up to the man. Can you lay a finger on this blade? He looks at you questioningly. I just do it if it's not a big deal. All right. And Thank. he places a finger on the blade. I don't smell any burning or anything. <laughs> he, no, he, he looks at his finger afterwards and says, well, I, I, I hope that gave you what you needed. <laughs> it did thank you for playing along it means you are not one of a certain type of monster so i'm gonna vampire i'm I gonna whisper. put that At away times, i think we're all certain types of monsters mm. but quickly come up come we're up. not uh in case you're wondering yeah okay yeah well i'll go in with him yeah i follow uh E Eon, are you, are you coming with Eon, us? Eon, are you coming? Yeah, I'm going. This is our friend, the Chosen One? Yep. All the signs point to him. <laughs> All the signs. All the signs. Uh, so yeah, he, he leads you up one of the stair uh, stairwell higher up into the tower, um, where there is definitely a small community of people living. Um, kind of in squalor, but... Eh. I mean... What would you expect? Yeah. This city has been kind of messed up. Um, he he leads you to a small heating unit that some people have gathered, that some people are gathered around. And he says, my name is Sean, and I'm, I, I, I speak for my people here. What who what is it that you're looking for? Our larger mission is to find and close the portal at the center of the city. Eh, or at least figure out why it suddenly uh, started pumping out monsters at like a tsunami pace. But we are yeah, it, right here because we are looking for an evil witch. An he evil hopes witch. she's evil. Well, I was told this creature's name was Lavinia. Wait. He, he, he looks surprised. Lavinia? I knew it. What, what do you need with Lavinia? You want to take that one, David? I have contacts that have informed me that Lavinia is a witch who should be destroyed. Do you have well, different information? Well, I mean, I guess, I, I guess she's a witch. I mean, she's, she's done some pretty impressive stuff since we've known her, but I don't know why you'd want to destroy her. I mean, she's, she helped us build all of this fortify ourselves in she helped you build a collapsed tower 
while she helped us fortify the tower after it after it had collapsed. That is a job for a carpenter, not a witch. Is she also a carpenter? I mean, she's she's done. I mean, to the best of my knowledge, she's done a lot of stuff. I don't to know if she's, if she's a carpenter. Yeah, I mean, that's she's she's helped everyone out here. Do you know why an order well, of monsters out here? Do you have any Come idea again? why an order of monster hunters would want her dead? No. I don't know at all why they'd want her dead. Does she live here? Not here. And you know what? Uh, David, can you get can you give me a roll plus charm? I mean I can I can give you a roll. Yeah. It's not gonna <laughs> It's not going to charm anyone. It might. That, that'll that be a six. Or it might not. Ooh. I not. Yeah, well, e everything has to be minimum seven to do anything. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, y'all are welcome to stay here. Like, you, you don't seem like you're going to, like, eat us in the night or nothing. But, you know, I don't think I'm comfortable telling you where she lives if you're just going to kill her. I will not murder a just or innocent person. He won't. <laughs> but I must, I have been ordered to kill the witch Lavinia. I must at least meet her. If I am to disobey the orders of the order, it will be... It will not be done lightly. Uh, can I do a, uh, a follow-up charm someone, manipulate somebody role uh, to help him out? What do you want to do for that? Um, what, what, are you, what are you presenting here um, as your uh, social leverage to alter the alter this um, hmm. reaction? Uh, I was thinking that I would uh, again use my my sharp instead of my charm is my feet and launch into this really complicated explanation of why David's order is, uh, is in fact like seeing the bigger picture here and the bigger picture that involves like how just a little thing can influence this thing. And it's just like this other thing. And I'm basically want to bullshit this guy, uh, to, until he's so exhausted that he tells me what I want to know just to get rid of me uh, and convince him at the same time that like David is not going to kill anybody. That's, that's an innocent, like the fastest way to get rid of us and to, and to rescue this woman is just to be upfront and just tell us what we want to know. So we can go there, see that everything's cool and leave because we got bigger fish to fry. All right, go go for it. Do All me, right, do me the roll. I'm doing the roll. This will be fun. Uh, that is gonna be a nine. All right, so you are you are spinning your overtly convoluted logistical bullshit to him. Yes. Just just go on and on, wearing him down. Yep. In a when someone runs runs into the room and just completely interrupts you. Sean, Sean, they say. Hey, I was talking. Susie, no, Susie's gone. It's taken her. Oh, and Sean's shit. what? What has taken her? Who's Susie? 
Did I? No, I didn't. Um, Brad, wh what has taken her? And Brad responds, it was just, it was huge. And we couldn't, I couldn't see it very well, but it just snatched her and went off. And I think it took her down into the old subway. Sean, Sean turns to you and says, okay, okay, put your guns away, put your rhetorical guns away. But if I get my real gun out, go down in the subway. Yeah, we're going. I'm hoping you will do that for me. If I will go there, I will tell you how to find Lavinia, but you need to get Susie back for me. Oh, we were doing Yes. I we were going to do that anyway. No. Nope. Well, yeah, we're totally going to do that uh, if you, in return for that location that my friend I will not me. stand by and watch an innocent destroyed by darkness. Yes. I've already put away my axe and my knife, and I've taken out my big two-hander. Well, lead us to the subway, buddy. So Brad is pretty unwilling to um, show you. It's, it's kind of getting dark out. Well, but, if anyone will take us, or if someone can point it out. Come on, chop, no, chop, they, Brad, they, let's they go. Are, they are more than happy to to tell you how to get there. Okay. And it is basically just follow this road down right before you hit what used to be the, the highway, right alongside the hill. That's where you get into the subway. Cool. All right. I mean, it's a subway. And, we should just look for, like station oh there are no stations sorry it's he he, if he you you say that and he says oh no the subway here was never finished it's, even better it, it is literally just open at one end and cement it in at the top sweet lovable place with only one way in and out all right uh, but yeah, they tell you basically, they tell you how to get there. Uh, and it is getting dark out, though. Do, are you going right now? Yep. Yeah. Susie may not have long. Hell yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Um, do you have any, like, flashlights or anything? I do, in fact, have a flashlight. It's one of my weapons. Uh, nice. So, yeah, I got a Watchman's flashlight. It lights up <laughs> and it does harm. So, yeah. No, those, those old mag lights were nice for that. Yes, they were. As we go along, I would like to use magic. What would you like to do with your magic? I would like to and pray. I would like to pray over my sword and enchant it, so that it will do uh, more damage. I will. I will pray to the Lord to bless my weapon against the enemies of mankind. Okay, well, let's let's say you do that once you get there. Okay, should I wait to roll on it? Yeah, no, I mean it's not going to make that much of a difference. Just you, um, you all stroll, you you all make your way down the road. Um, you get down to the entrance to the subway, and it's just basically a hole in the hill with big metal double doors. Uh, that are slightly ajar. Now would be the time to, well, unless you wanted to wait, now would be the time to do that. I don't see any time limit on how long the enchantment lasts, no, so no reason just, not to do it. It's like something you do like, while walking. Fair enough. Uh, um, sure, so, yeah. so uh, what I've done is, is roll snake eyes, uh, <laughs> making it a four. Curse that Ooh. sword. Burst into flames. No, that would be awesome. Yeah, like just on the handle, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, that would not be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> handle flame! Handle flame! If, I would just put it away and use it for light and then use the other weapons. So, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't think anything happens if I just... I think I just fail the spell. Yeah. Give me a quick sec. 
The Lord has not blessed our endeavor. Or he wishes us to fight with the weapons he has already given us. Yeah, you pick one of those, buddy. No, we'll find out afterwards. David, I trust you implicitly. Not so big about your order. That's okay. All right. Okay. Um, so there is an effect. Um, what, what exactly are you blessing? Uh, my two-handed sword. Do you have a sheath for that? Yeah. Cool. So the tie, the, there are ties around the sheath, and you, you, would, you, you make this prayer to your sword, and you feel the dark energy of the, just the city growing around you, mm. seeping, into, seeping into your holy weapon, and the ties around the sword just intertwine and bind it together so that you cannot draw it right now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to put that back on my back, and I'm going to pull out my shotgun instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lord bless this one in advance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? All right, All right, I can click on my flashlight. Click, click. Click, click. You all, you all head into the uh, abandoned subway. It's yep. old. It's dank. It's when the area outside your flashlight is almost preternaturally dark. Uh, Red. And yeah, it just—it's basically a tunnel that it's. It's a tunnel that's been split into two tunnels that just go straight on down. Uh, how are you all approaching this? Well, I'm going first. Yeah. Do you want, do I give you the flashlight? Or do you want me to hold on to it? Uh, I see in the spirit. Yeah, but do you see in the dark? <laughs> you can hold the flashlight. This, this isn't Dungeons and Dragons. We don't all have dark vision. You can hold the flashlight. Okay. You should be behind us uh, because yep. Eon should be in the middle where we can protect him. Yes. And uh, The signs do all point to you. Yeah, look, there's one now. One way. Yeah. Um, one way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That way, if you're, hold, if you're behind him and holding the flashlight, you can see him. Yep. And if I'm in the back and something grabs me, the flashlight goes down. And you guys know something's, something's hinky. Exactly. Hinky. That's what I was going to say. Yep. Every now and then, Sniffer likes to channel a little Scooby-Doo. It's more of a Jinkies than a Hinkies, but, you know. Right. Yep. All right. I'm David's very uncomfortable not having the sword out, but... Uh, the shotgun is weighty. I'm thinking somebody should, we should be investigating a mystery or reading a bad situation here. Um, I don't know. Eon, what, what do you, what can you do for us at this time? Uh, I mean, I can, uh, I can spend some luck and see if I can get some information about my future. Or I can investigate a mystery or read a bad situation. Yeah, I mean, or I, I was, can... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was also thinking about maybe using some magic to uh, do something beyond human limitations and try to free your sword. I like that one. Yeah. I am I am Cho Simba, so it's worth a shot. All right. Okay. Are you doing this while you walk, or are you stopping in the middle of the subway and doing this? Um. So, having not decided what I want to do, I think. Okay. I think I want to.
I think I want to read a bad situation. So I'll roll for that and then okay. to decide this, what this I want to do. definitely not a good situation. So yeah. <laughs> give me that roll plus sharp. Plus sharp is a 10. Nice. Nice. Well, it is, are there any of them questions you want to ask right now? Yeah. Um, so right now, I just want to know what our biggest threat is, um, and I don't want to hear the dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've probably been, I'm going to say you, you're about an hour into walking through this subway. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of, it goes on a little bit, and about an hour in, you notice just along the walls, like a, like a, like a almost golden filigree, like it's, it, you, are you willing to reach out and touch it at all? Um... I'm not, but I also don't have anything pokey, so... No, that's... Um, you look at it, and it looks almost like like spider silk, like spun webbing, but golden. That is just... It's not a lot, but it's, it's a little bit, and it's not something you'd normally expect to see down here. Well, I don't think you expect to see gold filigree spider web anywhere. No. But I mean, extra so in a uh, dank, disused old subway tunnel. Yeah. I'd like to investigate a mystery, uh, unless uh, Matt, you want to do anything? You want to use one of your other holds? No, I'm going to hang on to them. Okay. All right. Me. What What do you want to do? I'm going to investigate a mystery. I'm going to roll for that. Yep. Okay. What are you going to do? Oh, um, well, uh, as we're walking, I'm, I'm the one with the flashlight, so I am yep. looking... I think I'm focused on tracking, because I know David okay. wants to rescue this, this girl yep. uh, as soon as we possibly can, so I am looking for, specifically, for where the monster went and signs of where it's going and what we're walking okay. into. Okay, yeah. So roll me sharp. Yep. Inside, you know you want to rescue the girl, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. Okay, cool. So that's that's one hold for that. Um, yep. Do you want to ask any of them questions right now? Uh, well, I guess I'll ask, where did it go? And just, uh, I'm looking to get there as fast and as safely as we can. So it's, yeah, where did it go? It looks so. You 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 all keep walking, and it looks honestly like it's like the the golden filigree is getting thicker. It's getting there's more of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it it. This isn't a maze, where is it? Is it, it like a, is this just a single tunnel? Like there's not like a whole bunch yeah. of branches. Oh it's, well, it's literally a single tunnel. Then maybe may I change my answer, my question because I didn't yeah. understand that. I thought we were like in a no, maze. That's, okay, that's totally okay. Okay, uh, in that case, I'm going to ask, what can hurt it? Having seen these gold web filigrees and seen the traces of its layers, I'd like to know if I've been able to figure out how to take this thing down. Well, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, you like looking at it and get like are you are you interacting with it at all i uh, have we found it yet he no, means I mean, the, the golden the, the, web stuff the golden stuff uh sniffer hasn't gotten this far in life by being cautious yeah she uh she grabs a thread all right well you grab some of it and it's it's definitely sticky uh it it completely reminds you of like cobweb yeah and i mean a really easy way to get rid of cobwebs you know just 
use a lighter. Yeah. We have to save Susie. I agree. And burn some stuff. What if Susie is in the web? Well, we won't burn that part of the web. I'm not a pyromaniac. If all the web is connected and you light it over here, she may burn before we get to her. Oh, I didn't even think of lighting it from here. Oh, oh. that's a great idea. <laughs> I am going to spin my hold from earlier when I rolled my fortune. And I am mm -hmm. going to be somewhere that I am needed just in time. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> all right. Well, you you all you 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 all been walking here. I mean, it's been a couple hours at this point. Like this tunnel is. It's not just that it's deep or long. You're unfamiliar with it, so it's it's new terrain and that. You know, so it's, it hasn't been a long couple hours, but it's been, you know, you've been traversing over puddles, around debris, and you finally come to an open area. Uh, the the golden filigree is just all over the walls. Um, it looks like this was, yeah, this was a, would have been one of the stations, sorry, uh, one of the subway stations uh, for the line itself that had been sealed in. Um, you actually, uh, look, like, glancing around the area, is the flashlight the only light you have? Well, that's a good question. It, uh, this sheet doesn't call out any other equipment that we carry other than weapons. Can we say yeah. that, like, oh, yeah, I have, like, four lighters in my pocket and a torch? Uh, how does that work? Well, I mean, within, within reason. I mean, yes. would you? Would uh, David or Eon have a flashlight or some kind of, tr like, electric torch? I think uh, it's fair to say David would have a flashlight. He's a monster yeah. hunter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think no, we'd all probably have a flashlight. Yeah. Then I feel like it's pretty standard. Reasonable. Yeah. Okay. And I feel so like we... I would definitely have, like, an old school lighter. Like... Okay. My lucky lighter. Just so you could be that person in the movie who, for some reason, uses a lighter yes. to light something up. <laughs> Haven't smoked in years, ever since I learned the truth about the, you know, the tobacco industry was one of the first conspiracies. So, uh. Uh, Eon, do you have a personal light source? Um, just my charm and goodwill. Is you my are definitely source. a light to us all. Yeah. Yes. And we appreciate that. As your um, mentor, before we went in, I told you to show me your, your go pack and what you were bringing. And I told you to put a, a light in there, a flashlight. Yeah, I, I do actually just... have a lighter and some hairspray. So. Yeah. <laughs> do you really? Is that one of your weapons? No, but ah. it is now. And I've got like that for your magnificent mane of hair. Yeah. Oh okay. yes. Okay. Nice. I've nice. got like a tactical light that mounts on the shotgun. That. Yeah. I had kind of assumed so, but. Yeah. I like it. It's the so main reason I'm using the shotgun. Other than your sword. Right. Like I would not. I would favor the melee weapons normally, but I need the light. You don't typically cool. hear of tactical cool. shotguns, but I'm not complaining. I fully believe David personally created a tactical light for his shotgun. Yes, the well, tactical well, shotguns this, exist, this, uh, and I'm using one. This uh, area, um, the the light from your flashlights is refracting off the golden fil the the sticky golden filigree, and David, you find a large bunt of uh, yeah, a large bundle. It's about this big. No, it's a human-sized bundle, um, all wrapped up in this stuff, and it is it's squirming a little bit. Um, what do you want to do with that? I will speak to it. I will say, "My name is David. I've come to rescue you." <laughs> Be quiet and don't draw attention. I will cut you free. I'm going to use my uh, knife and start trying to cut through the silk. 
cool. So you you you're you get it in there. It's definitely it's it's got a cobwebby sort of feel to it, but this the silk around uh, around this body is oh, definitely. I, can I clarify cool. something? I I don't want to cut her her cocoon open. First, okay. I want to cut the whole thing free of the rest of the web so that we could carry her out if we needed to and then cut her free outside. Okay, nope. I gotcha. Yeah. So you're doing that and and likewise, the the webbing holding her up isn't as um fragile as what you found further back further or earlier in the tunnel. Um so it's you're having to put some effort into it. Um, it's not cutting easy. Okay. While David's doing that, Sniffer, you're shining your light around, looking around. Hell yeah, I am. And, Covering. Oh yeah, and you see just in the sh in the shadows on one of the walls, this like. So give, give me a sec to get it like three, four foot tall, golden cross on the wall. Hey. Um, the shadows are hitting it real weird, but there's definitely a golden cross on the wall. I smack Eon in the shoulder. Like, dude! Cool. As you do that, the cross starts inverting. What? Just turning, it, it starts turning upside down. And that's when you see all the legs attached to it. Oh. And the, uh, it's it is it looks like essentially a large golden spider probably about six seven feet across not not counting its legs is this um, so i yeah. was gonna say is this a good moment to take our break this is an excellent moment to take our break <laughs> <laughs> all right all right. So, Brad. yeah. Um, thank you, Jason, for that first half. We'll be back in 10 minutes for the second half. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. I think Cody already signed off, but good night to Cody. Oh. And uh, Cody. we will uh, see you guys soon. Welcome back to Tales from the Backlog with Monster of the Week. Uh, does this mystery have a name? Um. No, because I didn't come up with a good one, and I don't want to say what I'm ripping, what I'm just blatantly ripping off. Okay, well, if you know what it is that Jason's blatantly ripping off, uh, that's the title of today's session. <clears throat> All right. So when you last left, y'all, David was cutting down this human-sized bundle of we uh, golden web, and Sniffer and Eon had just discovered that there is a giant bloody golden spider down here with you that is moving to get you. Yeah, that was inevitable. Yep. I punched David in the shoulder. Uh, I, a lot of Sniffer's communication is based around hitting people in the shoulder. Um, pull out my own knife and say, hey, you want to trade places? Uh, by all means. All right. And I will get to work cutting, uh, doing the same thing David was doing, uh, cutting the uh, connecting tissues or strands loose and with I... my own butterfly knife. Like, no. cool move. While, yes. they're, while they're switching places, what do you want to do? Uh, if that was for me, I'm sorry. Uh, so is all this webbing connected to this creature at all? Like, does it wrap around the room and connect to the creature? I mean, it doesn't connect to the creature so much. Um, like, think of it like a really ornate and fancy um, alien nest, but without all the aliens, and there's a giant golden spider. Right, so if we can free this uh, bundle of moaning fast enough, can we light this webbing on fire, and then it would, in fact, get to the monster? I mean, you could, but I'm going to point out that the creature itself 
is advancing towards you right now. Maybe it's, it's well, at least it's moving along the, the ceiling in your direction. All right. So in that case, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to use one of my other holds for read a bad situation and find out what the best way is to protect the victim we're trying to free. Nice. Um, that would at this point that would be to beat up the beat up the creature in front of you and get her the butt out. Um, let's see. Does anybody have any investigative mystery? Excuse me. Um, I feel like we're at the point where it's time to kick some ass. Yeah, it's definitely time to fight. We we have a monster and charging we'll protect us. Protect someone. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But, it, but somebody can ask what can hurt it if they've got that option available Fire. to them. Oh, I'm going to ask Jesus, <laughs> and, and the way that I'm going to ask him is that I'm going to. I'm going to lift my shotgun, point it at this cross-shaped monster, and tell it, in the name of God, turn back over. Well, click, click, boom. I'm going to wait and see if it listens. And if it doesn't, then yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to let loose. No, it, it's, it's not listening to you. Okay. I'm rolling to kick, so some, kick ass. some ass. Uh, I'm going to spend a luck to make Ooh. that a 12. Nice. Okay, so... Give me just a sec, because this isn't doing this the way I want it to. Boom. There it is. All right. So... Hmm. So you are getting that 10 plus result. Um, which extra effect do you want? I want all hunters involved in the fight to get plus one forward. What is plus one Which forward? hunter? All hunters involved in the fight. So both of these guys. Um, the first, first one in the list on the extra effects. Plus one so forward means your next roll you get plus one. At cool. least in the two copies of this I have, you can take plus one forward for yourself or give plus one forward to someone else. That's on a 10 plus. He's looking at advanced on a 12 plus. Ah, okay. You don't have any advanced moves. So my apologies. Oh, that's only if you have like an advanced thing from here. There, there is, I got there. it. Okay. It's okay. To advance your some of your moves. Got it. Understood. Yeah, I didn't realize that that word advanced actually Sorry. meant anything in there. Okay. Um, I was ignoring that and thereby making communication difficult. No problem. Um, okay, so it will be. I am going to force him where I want him, which is back where he started. Okay. Um, real quick. As far from us and the girl as possible. First of all, how much harm is your shotgun? Three. Cool. So. I probably loaded it with something awesome too, like dimes or rock salt or something. Yeah. Why not That's all three? All yeah. Um, not regular dimes, like silver dimes from the Vatican or something. Well, in the in the time it took you to get to that, though, it did get close enough to take a take a bite at you with its scissoring jaws for three harm. <clears throat> okay. Do you have any armor to mitigate that? I have no armor that I that I'm aware of. No, I have no armor. Wait, you no, I got armor. I got one armor. Armor heavy. Yeah. So that makes it two instead of three, right? Yes. All right, I am taking two harm. I'll save my right. luck for uh, offense. But your blast does put it right up against the wall. 
Okay. Uh, uh, you the... want to follow that up, Eon? Do you want to step in and do anything? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, take out my my chain. And yep. Take a wild swing at this thing. Okay. Um, is there anything crazy I should know about your chain? So it's uh, got spikes on it. Uh, it has the magic tag, and it has the close tag. Whatever those things mean to you, and messy. So get prepared okay. for that. It's then it's gonna make a bit of a mess. That's cool. <clears throat> So it's going to be uh, at least two harm. And okay. My... You're gonna, so you're going to kick some ass, so roll me plus tough. So plus tough is going to be 11. Mm. Nice. So from that 10 plus list, choose, choose an extra effect. So I will... Uh, inflict terrible harm and do another plus one. So what was the base harm for that weapon? Uh, it was two. Okay. So it's a, it's three with yeah, it, the mess, three. messy magic and close tags. Yeah. So you get in there and describe to me how you're like, how this chain attacks. So I uh, swing Maybe. it around my head and then yeah. at, like just toss it out um, with great force and gusto. Um, the spikes on the end of it are all over the place. So it's not quite like a mace, but more like a collection of Is... scissors on the end. Like, would you say more like a like a Belmont whip, like Castlevania style? It's. Like yeah, it's it's closest to like a Ghost Rider whip, but it's not on fire. No, that you've described a Lobo whip. <laughs> so, so Lobo whip. <laughs> okay, well you you lash out at it, and just the whip tear tears into its hide. You can see all, like it looks like it is actually made of gold. From the tears that that go into its hide and it, into its chitin peeling back, look like just if you took a like a a stake like object, stuck it into a chunk of gold and just peeled some of it back. Uh, from those wounds, just viscera splashes everywhere, even onto you, uh, and it is hot and burning. And does two harm. So I do have one armor, so okay. that's one one arm. Yeah. And it does not it, the 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 monster does not look happy. It is it is making a weird clicky hissy noise. It's gooping. Uh Sniffer? Uh, I'm going to attempt to get the uh, human victim here off the wall, uh, which I assume is going to be act under pressure. I think it's... I, am, I was actually yeah. going to call, call for that role plus cool. Yes. Uh, to see how you are doing on this. Yep. Uh, all right. I'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, that's not great. That's a four. Total. Ooh, ow. Well, it turns out that Steve, you were were you using that silver dagger on those uh or I'm sorry, David, were you using that silver dagger on them uh on that filigree? I was. That seems to have, have uh helped with his cutting of it because your regular knife yeah. is just it is this stuff, it, it looks like it should be so easy to cut, but it is just tough and ropey, and it is not cutting very quick at all. Ah, uh, you need to, my blade. You need to mark an experience whenever you roll oh, six you. or less. All right. Ooh, thank you. 
I've got two because I just remembered that and I remembered that I did that twice. A list of learning things the hard way. Yes. It's a it's a okay. Um Yeah, what do you all want to do next? All right. Well, I suppose that I should uh, try again to enchant a weapon. Um, this time, I will pray over my shotgun. Say, Lord, bless the holy relics that I loaded into a shotgun shell and so forth. All right, roll, roll me that plus weird. Okay, now that's what I call a roll... It is a 12. It's six. Excellent. It's 10 natural and a two, two for weird. All right. Well, what effect do you want it to have? I am enchanting a weapon, so it will get plus one harm and the magic and tag. Nice. Nice. Then I'm going to shoot the weapon. Well, give me a quick sec. Okay. Where did I put that? Sorry. And yeah. yeah, that's not working at all. Cool. Um, oh. So you know what, um, David and Eon. Well, David was in, um, praying over, his, making a quick prayer over his shotgun. Can you also both give me an, a uh, roll plus cool for act under pressure? Okay. Um, I would like to spend luck for my cool roll. Okay. <laughs> Call that a twelve. Eon? Uh, I got a seven. Okay. Um, real quick, David, do you have what's your luck special? Um, whenever I spend a point of luck, something goes wrong for my sect. They're not here, so I don't care. <laughs> An ill-advised okay. project or a disastrous operation. No, that's okay. Um. <laughs> That's just the, the yeah, um, cool. So, if well, you in the moments that you were doing making that prayer, the spider creature just sprayed a like web of this golden filigree at you both. Uh, David, you managed to roll out of the way. Eon, you're kind of you're you're a little stuck right now. Not like completely entwined and restrained but you're moving kind of slow so as a free action i'll turn around and yell only the silver knife works on this stuff or fire how are you all responding to all that um, David, I know you want to get another, sh you want to, you want to kick some more ass? I do. I have a magic shotgun now. Uh, yeah. Eon, is there anything you want to do real quick now that you've been covered in sticky golden filigree? Uh, so I, I am the chosen one and a gold cross was part of my little vision that I had at the beginning. So I'm just going to go for it again and see if I can't get an attack out anyway. Okay. Um, so I am going to have... I'm going to have Eon, Eon kick ass first. While... So Eon, you're, you're taking another swing at this thing while David is rolling out of the way of its webbing. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. So Eon, kick some ass. 
So uh, I rolled a 13 with my plus tough. Yeah. What I didn't notice last time is that I also have a devastating move, which will give me another plus one harm. Okay. So, Chosen what? Chosen what? That yeah. would be plus. That would be plus four harm. Okay, so you're doing four harm. Yeah. Um. Um, all righty well um what other tags do you have on that chain uh magic and close okay so yeah you whip out and your chain just wraps or wraps around its uh thorax you pull on it and you can just feel the uh the sharp bits um, on your chain just ripping chunks of this thing out. And yeah, no, it like it oozing it's oozing gore all over the place and it just goes down. It's it's pretty damn dead. I did. Or at least it's Whatever dead. It all right. I'll go ahead and discharge an enchanted shotgun blast into its head just to be safe. <laughs> All right, that, that head just pops. Yeah, I was in the middle of an awesome move where I was ducking and rolling under the web, and then I was going to come up and blast its face off. But it was already yeah. dead by the time I finished my roll. So I'm just like... Well, you came, eh. you came up and fired like you were going to do. It just happened to be dead. Yeah, yeah. It's still a cool move. I, yell, I knew it was meant to be. You are the chosen one. And then I turn around to the wriggling bundle of spiderweb. I'm like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> that sounded like Susie, right? Well, if that's not Susie, then this is. So let's hope it's Susie. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing if we the not the word I'd in. use. I'm going to come oh. back with my silver knife, and yeah. however long it takes, I will cut Susie out of the thing. Yeah, and All I'll right. well, with, do what I can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the creature dead, you have you have a lot less time pressure. Yeah. And, yeah, just the general aura of cruelty and evil that was in this place has lessened with its death. Um, so yeah, you're able to get her out pretty easy now. Uh, she she thanks you. Oh, I, I have no idea who you people are, but you're you're here to rescue me. Yep. Thank we were sent you. by your friends living in that collapsed tower. Yes. Brad and who's the other one? I don't remember. There was a, there was a Sean. Yes, Sean. It was Sean. Sean was the one who sent Brad us. Brad and Sean. Brad told us you were here, and oh. and Sean sent us. Yes. He made it. Oh, thank the powers that be. Yes. Oh. Indeed. Thank these get... guys. They're, yeah, that was they're me. plugged I, into the powers, I was the powers that, be. that be. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing, I don't really know how Catholics do it, but I'm doing the thing. Yeah. The sign of the cross? Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you all as well. Oh, I mean, it, it must be, it must be extremely dark by now. We, I need to get back. Oh, yeah. The street. The streets aren't safe at night. Yeah. It's not going to be safe in here much longer. And I pull out my lighter and I'm flicking it, looking at that gold filigree on the wall. Smith, perhaps you should wait until we are uh, mostly clear of the webs before you start lighting them up. Yeah, yeah. So let's get a move on, huh? Well, Susie, do you oh, need any yeah. water or, or anything before we get back? Pardon? Do you need any water or anything before we head back? Are you able to walk? Oh, she... She rubs... She, she's rubbing on her legs a bit. No, I think... I I haven't been here that long. I think I think I can make... I think I can walk. Brad. But I'd, I'd rather stay within the light you all have. Yes. Okie dokie. Let's form up and get out of here. All right. Well, you all you all head out. Um, it takes significantly less time to leave than it came to get in. 
are you lighting that are you lighting that stuff on fire on your way out? I sure am. Cool. So, I'm experimenting cautiously at first where I'm I am actually going to use some restraint where I'll like just kind of start with like little edges just to see how quick it burns and how much it spreads. Like, like you're, is you're it like flat. super flammable or is it just like you'd have to, you know, it's like lighting a piece of wood on fire where it doesn't just like boom, ignite. You have to set it up correctly. So are you, you're like cutting some off and trying it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it, it lights like, like, oh. like flash paper. <laughs> so like flash paper. Oh. So you all get like a decent ways through the tunnel and I'm going to bullshit some physics here. Yeah. Because I don't actually know what this would really do. So I'm just rolling with kind of rule of as cool as I can make it. Uh, you, you get mo you get de a decent way through the tunnel, um, like out of the tunnel and back yeah. to where the, back to where it's, there's a lot less of it. Yeah. Everywhere. You reach over and you're thinking, yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to, like, my inner pyro mm -hmm. pyromaniac child is going to enjoy this. Yes. Before mm -hmm. I light it up, uh, yep. I would like to do two things. One is I'd like to actually try to take some of it with me if I can. Like, sort of pull some of it, cut some of it loose. Like, maybe, like, about, like, a four-foot strand if I can. And, like, wind it around a... I don't know, a piece of plastic or something in my pocket. So it's sort of tucked around and I have like a little four foot spider web okay. yeah. piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, are you just putting it in your pocket? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just winding okay. it up and uh, wrapping it in like a plastic bag or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can totally do that. Uh -huh. uh, anything else y'all want to do before this, before this lights up? Uh, just get Susie out of here. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, there is one thing I want to do. I still have a hold from my investigate mystery earlier. And just because David is the cautious sort. Yeah. I am going to look at Susie and whatever various injuries or dishevelments she has on her. And I am going to ask you, what sort of creature is it? Well, it's like, what do, you, what do you mean? What sort of creature is it? Is this still Susie? Was it in ah, fact yeah. ever Susie? Yeah, this, from, from everything your fully rolled and spent and earned hold can tell you, this is a totally real person who is a normal person. Okay, she doesn't have a bunch of spider babies in her somewhere gonna pop out yeah. okay yeah. cool and then the last thing i do is that i offer the lighter to susie I'm like you survived it girl you want to take this one she looks a little nervous and you mean it hell yeah she reaches she takes she takes the lighter what this is like a zippo yeah <laughs> like an old school metal one that I say is my, I found it like a thrift store like two years after I got out of the military, but I got the lighter has a backstory. Yes. Okay. It absolutely has <laughs> yeah. a backstory. Um, yeah, like, like it this has like a mysterious, ins it has like an inscription on it that I make up a different story for every time, but I just bought it from a, like a pawn shop or a thrift store or something. I have no idea what it means for real. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. And I offer it to her, and I've, I, I think, like, I've been, like, tracking kind of the web, and I, like, tell her, like, okay, that one, light it up. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, she, oh, okay, yeah, the, this this is good. This is, she clicks it a few times, and it, it catches. Mm -hmm. She holds it up to the, holds it up, and just whoosh. Just, I mean, like, fucking flash paper just you can see the entire uh the tunnel as far as far as your vision can see just lit for just that split second and you see it just flash back and you 
and you just feel just an intense wave of heat wash over you from further from deeper into deeper into the subway it is good that the layer of the demon has been destroyed oh definitely you i mean you also feel just that like this place may not be clean it may not be tidy but it has been cleansed and Purifying that's not, that's fire. Not nothing yep I say, nice work, and then I take the lighter back from her and then put it in my pocket, just to be sure, you know. All right. Doesn't go yeah. missing. So are we taking her back to uh, to the tower then, guys? Yes. All right. And on the way, I clap Eon on the back, like, nice. Nice work, dude. Yeah, I'm going to spend some time telling David all the things that he missed while he was rolling around on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to load a shotgun. I'm going to be like, dude, I had like chopped this thing in half. It was awesome. I was covered in webs. David, you could really learn a lot from this guy. Eon, I did actually see that. I was only on the floor for a split second. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I was too busy winning. Um, <laughs> it, it was very impressive. Do you think that we should tell this girl that Brad didn't even want to tell us where the subway was? No. But I have a question for you. Have you ever seen a comic book character called Lobo? Uh, no, I haven't ever read any comic books ever. Well, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend reading Lobo. I think it is sinful and dark. But uh, it does have a very cool hooked chain just like yours. That's cool. I will. Uh, uh, we can go pick some up later, and I will read it to you so that you can not have a choice. Are we talking or are we walking? <laughs> We're walking oh, and talking. You're definitely walking. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to assume that you all are keeping your eyes out for danger as well because it ha it has gotten dark out. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's Let's double time it. Um, uh, and it's it, you. At first, you just think, sure, it's dark out. And then after, you know, after, I mean, it's it's not that far of a walk back from the subway entrance to the university. Uh, but in that time, you realize at one point you look up because you're thinking it's, it's really dark. Like there's, like you can see lights in the distance, like, you, you look out and you see like, you know, what looks like it might be like a lit fire here and a, like something there. But you look up and realize the sky is dark. Hey, guys, I think we may need to uh, skip uh, your, your buddy Lavinia and kind of cut straight to the to the thing. Maybe a loop it's, back it, around. And and by that, I mean, it's not just that it's like a new moon. There should be stars in the sky, and there are not. So, well, we've got to get Susie home before we go anywhere. So, thing you just, just, you know, some color, or lack thereof. <laughs> um. Well, well uh, can we assume yeah. we have arrived at the tower and are depositing Susie with her comrades? Well, you bring her back to the, t you get her back to the tower and it's, it goes easy. It goes quick. Um, when you get, when you arrive, uh, you, when you arrive, um, there is a group waiting out front, uh, with a fire there. There is light there because they have a fire burning out front of the tower. Um, they, and they've been waiting for it. They've been waiting for you to come back. Um, hopeful. Uh, they're all armed, but they're not armed like, oh, we're going to get you. They're just armed like this is a, danger a somewhat dangerous area, and they don't want to be unarmed. Well, their faith uh, has been rewarded. We have returned their friend. Yeah. Good, good. They, and they're happy to see her. She's happy to see them. And, um, and Sean approaches you with... And there is an old woman by his side. She walks with an intense limp. Uh, and she says, so these, these are the people who came here to kill me. Techni ah! Technically, well, only I did that. 
It's totally an innocent old woman. Ha! <laughs> You did it. Smith. I'm sorry. It's just funny. He's totally not going to kill you, I'd I say. I don't find lady. it funny. Oh, uh, I know. She looks at you and she looks at all three of you intensely and says, before I turn you into a toad, what are you here for? Well, we were supposed to be here to stop this whatever this is uh but no somebody had to go find the witch uh we just... are here for the defense of mankind against the powers of darkness yeah technically in bad. that pursuit we have saved this girl from a golden demon spider and further we will locate Identify and, if possible, destroy the portal at the center of this city. I was also, by my order of monster hunters, given a mission to bring back the head of Lavinia the Witch. You, ki you killed it, then. You killed the sh his shade of faith. Uh... The spider thing. Yes. Question. Clarify shade of faith. The sorcerer. The one who caused all of this. And she motions just ah. around. His, he draws his power from the, from the nether realm. And his immortality is... And he is, he is considered immortal. But, his Im, but as I learned ten years ago... That, or, that immortality is contingent. He has three he has three shades and they're his confidence. And only with the destruction of these three shades can you actually defeat him and not just send him into some some unwanted torp, torpor where he'll come back and when you're old and useless. So this cross-shaped giant spider with the golden webbing this was one of his shades yes uh it's from his reed. are they question are they all have that little golden cross on them i know the spider thing did um but i've I have not been able to locate either of his other shades. Nah. And honestly, even if I had, I don't think I would have been any good against them at this point. Okay. Lavinia. I am, am one of, I am one of the three hunters of the order. Do you know why they would want you dead? I don't know why anyone would want me dead. Look, are you sure you understood correctly? I mean, they told you to bring them the head of Lavinia. Did, did they mean, like, still attached? Like, they just want to talk to her about something? I had similar thoughts. We or, shall close this portal. Yeah. And we shall take Lavinia's head. I think what along I'm... with the rest of her person to speak with my leadership. Assuming that's cool with you, Lavinia. If you if you can defeat this evil, I will go with you. Rad. Fair I wonder enough. maybe they mixed it up like they know a magic user, like they're they're looking for a sorcerer but they could only find a witch, so they thought this was her maybe. It is also possible that she is not telling us the truth. So cynical. I mutter, and I'm mad that he's more cynical than me, and I never thought of that. I have been <laughs> deceived by creatures of the dark before. Ah. Yeah, he's seen stuff, man. All right. So, Lavinia, you're saying that what we need to do 
Like, what, what's all this uh, ominous darkness and sudden increase in monsters? Is this coming from the sorcerer, or is that something else? No, it, it's coming from... It's coming from the sorcerer. All right. So we're not here to close a portal. We're here to kill a sorcerer. Well, they are... One in the same. Essentially one in the same. Rad. Uh... He, I, I, I thought I defeated him ten years ago, but I just... I just put him down to sleep. And now, and I've been watching over this area... I've been watching over the city since... Getting older and more useless, but a couple days ago, I sensed that he had wake, he had awoken, and I've been trying to figure out what to do since then. Well, uh, have no fear, the uh, professionals. I say, looking back at my companions, are here. Uh, uh, let's, uh, any tips on where we should start? Because it looks like we, uh, gotta get going here. Uh, this, this is generally, and I point up this guy, this is generally not a good sign. Like, things are, things are not going well. No, they're not going well, but... All right. To, to tell you more, we should move inside. Oh, are we not inside? Let's oh, go you're in. Still out, you're still out front. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Yeah. Okay, so you, everyone moves inside, um, and, uh, yeah, so she, like, you, you, you gather together in a room, and, yeah, she's gonna, she tells you about ten years ago, she faced off against this sorcerer Gwyn, uh, who had been trying to amass power by connecting his own soul to the deep, to the to the nether realm and she fought him then but was was gravely wounded but thought she had won until things didn't things kept being the way they were which was when she figured out that she had just put she had essentially just put him down but had defeated him but that she was in no no condition to actually go back and try to finish him off. And only in the intervening years has she been able to discover that he, he draws his immortality from these shades of himself that he is that he has sent they're near that he is sent nearby. Uh, and she thinks she thinks for a minute she's She's having trouble like putting this into words. And then she thinks, ah, you, you've read those Harry Potter books. Yes, Horcruxes. Uh, oh. Yes, like that. But instead of being objects, they're monsters. Yes, pick that one up. What's one a of the Horcruxes were monsters. The snake, what, I mean, it wasn't a, a monster. It was a snake, but, you know... Uh, is a horcrux like a phylactery? Yes. Uh, I've broken those before. Yep. <laughs> um, I would like to. Well, you Leon, can tell me. Do you if... understand? Like, do you need a, a, another a word for horcrux or phylactery as well? Is <laughs> no, everybody I've on the same read page? Harry Potter. Yeah, okay, good. Harry We're all on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, we got a raid. Total party chill. Thanks for wow. thanks for raiding. That's a lot. Welcome, Hello. thirty-eight people. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. So, so to Jason, summarize, oh, you go ahead, Jason. Um, I have an interpretation issue for you. Um, okay. I would like to attempt to use magic to observe another place or time. And what I would like to observe is the closest shade that we have not yet destroyed. Uh, so I, I don't know if this is within the boundaries of what this ability allows because I'm not being specific with the place. I just want to see what this shade is. Okay, um, give, me, give me a sec. Okay. 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 Um, so 
you you are tech like technically still in conversation with Lavinia. Yeah. Do you want to step away and do this? Or... Oh no, um, I thought that our conversation was wrapping up, and I was doing this after. Okay, no, that's okay. Um, yeah, let's let's say um, it's it's getting pretty late, and you all have had a long fucking day. So do you want to do like? Are you? Um, Sean offers you a room in this ruined tower if you would like to, if you would like to sleep, and rest for a few hours. Yep. I guess. I oh. mean, do we have time? The sky is darkening. Uh, the sky is darkening, but you know you can't run forever. Yeah. Was it like this? I can if Ooh. I have enough coffee. Is it like this every night here, like the, with the stars going out? Has it always been like that for 10 years? Or You're asking Sean? I'm asking Lavinia. Ah, no, this, the, this has only been, this, is a, this started a few, like a few days ago. It was one of the initial signs to me, for me, that the sorcerer Gwyn had, had reawoken. Okay, so, but even if it's been a few days, it doesn't mean this night something has changed. Uh, so I think we probably have time to, to sleep for a night and then get back on the trail. So you I... want to try... Come on. Just... I know, I know. It's not level. Before we okay. make that decision, I would like to spend my second hold and go ahead and see and, and do another when and where will the next critical event occur now, let's say i've been interviewing everybody in the tower gathering info i don't want to sleep i've like been chugging like the five hour energies i've hidden in all my coat pockets before we came in and well, i am wired well you know what you don't have to ask too many people to get an idea that maybe you that the next real critical thing is if Gwyn has woken up, yeah. he's probably going to want to reassert dominance over these shades of himself. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you get to them before then, that will help. Right. But I'm looking for when and where. That's where it... Hmm. Like, I'm looking for a location and a time. Time frame. What's my tick and clock? Uh, um, I want to know if I can sleep. Sorry. No worries. No, I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure out how to answer your question. Yeah. Um. So, in your time hunting, doing monster hunting and interacting with this whole crazy occult world, you, you, you've got, you know, you've got some experience under your belt and you figure it's, it's probably going to take him, you know, another few days to fully oh. gather his power. Okay. That is a much you're longer time frame. A, you're not under an hour's time frame, but you okay. are under a day's time frame. David. Oh. Yes. Do I have a location, though? Because that hold should get me a, a where as well as a when. Hmm. Can I pinpoint more specifically? Earlier, I got downtown. Is there a specific location somebody can point me to as the most likely place that he would you know what? A shade would be? Straight up tell you yeah. that um, when she faced off with when it was it was between the t the twin towers of the pharmaceutical corporation building downtown. Okay. Brad. Uh, well, if she's already got that one, um, then I'm going to use my spell to find the other one. And I have rolled an 11 to use magic. Nice. So you are going to 
observe another place in time? Yes, and while doing so, I will, you know, the thing that I am targeting is wherever this other shade is, and I will try to identify it from what I see so that we can find it. All righty. So you get... Hmm. Give me just a sec. Thing to all right. So you, um, what what exactly does your divination magic look like when you do it? Um, I I sit down. Uh, no, I kneel down and I have yep. my sword, which will no longer come out of the sheath, and I I place it on my knees. And I just sit there and, and close my eyes and silently meditate in prayer, uh, asking the Lord to reveal to me that which is hidden. Okay. Um, well, one thing I am going to say is that your sword is unsheathable now. Okay. Um, <laughs> defe defeating that, that creature cleansed whatever evil was within the, uh, was w whatever evil was trapped, keeping it trapped within itself. Well, I nonetheless uh, have it in its sheath for this yes. part. Yeah. Um, cool. So, so you're basically praying and asking for a vision. Yes. All right. Um, yeah. So you get you, you're you're trying to just cut like you don't have a lot to go on here, but you get you do you do get a vision. Just it's a it looks like a, it's like a man, like a man-made lake, but it's but you you wouldn't call it that because it also looks sort of like a dam, like almost like it's it's a great wall built up that's holding water in against the side of a mountain, a side the side of a hill, and from with there's woods everywhere around this wall, and. Your vision moves into the moves closer to the water, passes like passes over the wall, and just skims along the water until it gets closer to the shore, where you see this weird frog person-looking thing crawl from the water and hop off into the woods. Okay, when my vision is over. I will uh, consult with Smith about what she has found. Yep. And reveal what I have found. And then maybe talking to the locals, we can map out the shortest route. Whether we should go find this reservoir creature first or go over to the pharmaceutical building first. Uh, so that we can just get them both in a straight line if possible. So you... Um... Are you sleeping before you do this? Uh, well, I, personally, David would like to make a plan before bed and then get up in the morning okay. and execute it. Yeah, Sniffer's cool with that. Okay. Eon. So you're you're gonna go back out and try and talk to some of the some of the locals who are still awake. Yeah, whoever's up, maybe the guards outside. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, they. Um. You, you, so you're descri you describe to them what you see. And yeah, they they tell you that yeah, that's like one of the older guards. Like, I mean, not old, but older. Seriously, this is not comfortable for me. Okay, You're, I'm gonna put you down. Sorry, <laughs> that's hard to hold. Okay, uh, one of the older guards says that sounds familiar it sounds like the the uh oh what's the word for it like it's it's an aqueduct i think the aqueduct out in the old genesis park um it would be he see he starts thinking like where would that how would i how would i describe that to you it's it's going to be on the other side of downtown i would normally say 
I'd like to pull out a paper map of the city that I've brought with me. It still has like the little pin marks in it from where I had like all my strings attached. It's like you can just okay. show us on the got a map. Oh, definitely. This is yeah. This is much easier. Yes. So he he pull, he look, he smooths the map out and says kind of folds some of it over so it's a little easier to hold and says, "Okay, um lady, what you were saying um about about did you do were you asking him at all about where Lavinia had said she faced off against the sorcerer? Uh yes. Uh, when he says lady, I look over my shoulder for somebody else. I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah." So he says, "Okay, we're we're he, he's holding up this map and I'm wishing that my stream wasn't frozen." You look okay we can see you. to us. Can you see me holding up my hand? Yeah. Okay. So he says, okay, so we're kind of right here. We're about right here. Those twin towers downtown are going to be kind of here. And that park, the Genesis Park, is going to be kind of over here. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds like we go to the twin towers and then the park. Let's go to the Pharma Corporation after we sleep. Yes. Eon, yeah. what what are you up to while we're doing yeah. all this investigating? Are you just I'm already asleep. I okay. had a I had a long night <laughs> of almost single handedly killing a monster. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm already gone. I lean over and like have another vision of you destroying another one in your ear. And then I just flop down and I'm immediately asleep as well. And I I go to sleep wondering whether subconsciously planting a suggestion in the brain of the chosen one will yield a vision that is in any way as potent as his other visions. Or will it be better? And if so, what does this mean for the nature of free will and uh, <laughs> so forth? Well... Eon, do you like food? Who doesn't like food? Cool. What kind of food does Eon like? Uh, Eon's a big fan of pizza and sushi. Cool. Together? So yeah, you have an intense dream just about these crazy, about just chasing, like, like you're in like a Pac-Man maze. And you're just chasing after just these delicious, just greasy, cheesy pizzas and just the freshest sushi with the lightest, fluffiest, stickiest rice. It's, it is an intense, it is an intense dream that when you wake up from, you will think, mm, I wish I had all that food with me right now. I already do. Yeah, uh, that. I kind of want that. Woo! <laughs> Hungry for defeat over the forces of evil. Great dream, buddy. I fist bump Eon. <laughs> cool. So yeah. morning comes. Um, give me just a quick sec. Because. I want to make sure. Okay, so um, I think one or two of you are actually hurt. Oh. Yeah, I've taken harm. Oh. Yeah, I took one damage. Yeah, one I, harm. Okay. Did you all? I, I'm I'm going to assume you all did some sort of first aid and. Yes. Um, medical attention overnight during the night yeah like you're supposed to get one back yeah that's yeah you each are going to have healed one harm overnight too bad i'm using a pen it's okay oh. i just drew another box that is a good good way to do that cool so 
the morning come, dawn comes, and what are you all headed out to do? If you're headed out at all. Towers, towers. Let's really go hope. After, after that big pharma. Yeah. <laughs> Take down big pharma. Again. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we're chasing after like these final two shades are uh, respectively a giant piece of pizza and a giant walking uh, piece of sushi. They are leaving for this. Uh, almost leaving certainly for you, was not as an amphibian. Yeah. The one that I saw in my vision was more like a giant frog. Everybody loves frog sushi, right? Yeah. I mean, it didn't look Both like frog legs. particularly edible. It was kind of demonic and... It looked like it probably smelled. Oh. But once once we beat the evil out of it, then probably we'll just become a delicious. It might melt just... into a pile of brimstone and flames. And it might not, Debbie Downer. <laughs> if it doesn't, I, I, I melt mean, it down into a pile of brimstone and flames. It should not. You know, you shouldn't eat it. I let that chick light up the last one on fire. The next one's mine. All right. This is a walk and talk, and I, and right? Yes. Like, we're on yeah. our way to oh, the farm. Oh, I farmer. assume that as I say that chick, we're walking past Susie. I'm like, hey, what's up, girl? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Rad. Twin oh. Towers. Yeah. Is my shotgun still enchanted? <laughs> no. All right. You would, re, you would need to re-bless it. Because we uh, went That's to sleep... Bad. Um, I would like to attempt to bless the sword this time. Okay. Um, yeah, get, use some magic. Uh, that's ten. Nice. So yeah, you've got you've got an enchanted sword for right now. All right, it will uh, assist us. Cool. So, so you all are heading towards the uh, big pharma building downtown? Yes. Do you have any idea what the monster there is like? None at all. Okay, let's go kill it. Did Lavinia tell me anything when I was when she was telling oh, me this is where they battled? That's where she battled the sorcerer who was all the right. source of all this. Oh, uh, so. But she also mentioned that to defeat him, you're going to have to defeat his... Two shades. Th- his three shades. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought this was a shade location. If that's the case, we should head to the reservoir first and kill the shade before we try and take on, uh, what's his name? Yeah, I mean, my uh, my gut is telling me uh, that this is the next critical location, these twin towers, uh, Big Pharma. Uh, but I'm okay to go to the frog first if we... Uh, if we can't but kill I this think, guy, like until I, we kill his thing, I feel like the shade is there. Like, but uh, I'll I'm down for going for the frog first. I think what does Eon say? Chosen one. Yeah, chosen one. I like Eon. The... Eon is unsure. I'm, I'm just the chosen one. I'm not like the choosing one. The choosing one, yeah. I was chosen. I wasn't choosing. David is uncomfortable with this wordplay. <laughs> <laughs> David. It's good to be uncomfortable. I thought we were doing one, two, three, then shoot. No. One, one two, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Boom. Twin towers. towers. All right. This is how we decide all of our things on our holy quest. Yes. <laughs> Eon, you had your, your chance. It now it I'm is in the hands of the one. gods. <laughs> all right. We head to the pharmacy. Pharma company. Not all the right. Pharmacy. They have a little discount pharmacy. The, they sell the discards for cheap. Uh, so what do we see? 
All right. So yeah, you travel, you travel south and east through, um, through the college district. Um, uh, as you, you reach the edge of the, you, ugh. the edge of the college district is a uh, residential area heading downhill. And that's, it's not looking as overgrown. Like the further you get away from the college, the less overgrown it looks, but it still looks like a bomb dropped here. Like the, the buildings are ruined. There are huge cracks in the ground. So it's, you have a difficult time, manu like, just have the word for it. Um, Navigating? Pardon? Navigating? Yeah, that's the, I mean, it's, it's, it's not terrible to navigate. You can, you can mostly see where you're going um, because the, the sun is out, every, the sun's, the, the, the sky seems normal from here, um, from this early morning perspective. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's difficult terrain to get through. Um, you pass, you pass through that, um, just a very, the ruined, but heavily urban residential area into the downtown area and the buildings are likewise they're they're not good you're you can smell you can smell the monsters in the river nearby as the wind blow the as the wind blows blows north off the water uh the 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 downtown structures are like they, they were big at one point and now they're less big but they're they're they cast they still cast long shadows in the morning sun. Uh, stop saying um so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it, how do we find this thing we're looking for here? You know what? Um, Give me a hot sec here, because I want to figure out. I want to look that. for an umbrella logo. <laughs> I'm looking for a big shiny building. Yeah. Eon, can you give me a roll plus weird? Sure. Uh, four. Nice. For don't who? forget to mark X. Don't forget to mark XP points. Um, and I will get back to you in a minute. David and Sniffer, what are you? Are what are you doing when you like you you make it through downtown, or you? Most of the way through downtown, uh, you're you're generally you notice that your generally silent companion is a little more silent, uh, and that Eon is no longer there. Oh no! You can't, can't lose the chosen one. That's can I? Um... <sighs> No, that doesn't apply. Um... Okay. I'm going to... There's got to be an investigate a mystery. Answer for this. Uh, I'll go ahead and investigate a mystery. Well, what are you doing exactly? I'm looking around go... for what happened to Eon. Uh, what happened here? You have to ask yeah, one of these questions. What, oh, I have to ask the question in advance. Yeah, what happened here? Where where did okay. he go? All right. So yeah, give, give huh. me the roll. All right, that's a ten. Okay, so you get two. What I get two. You you hold two. Well, first question: What happened here? Uh, what happened to him? Well, what happened to him is that he is no longer there. He is gone without seemingly any trace. Well, isn't that the point of the question, though, is to, to figure out, like, did something grab him and drag him off? Was there... 
Did he go willingly? Are there traces left behind? Yeah, that's... Um... Or perhaps a, a, a gaping hole, a sewer manhole cover open? Or a dark alley? No. Okay, so you're 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 you you've noticed that he's gone. You're look you're looking around, um, and as you look around, you notice that hmm. coming from east to west. So, like, so you're you're looking around, and it ta it takes you a minute to notice this because it's not one of those things you'd normally like. Your normal people would really not notice this, but even for someone as paranoid and detail oriented as yourself, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that ar like all around you, the shadows are pointing the wrong way. What? Okay. As the the sun is has risen in the east, but all the shadows are stretching towards the sun. Okay, yeah, I convey that to David, and I will take my second uh, question, uh, and I'm going to ask, uh, where did it go? Where did Eon go? Well, where did it go is really easy to answer. Because at least as far as you can see, it is still here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going um, so to use... So before you do that... Yeah, okay. Eon, you're walking along with your, fr with your friends here, your companions, and... You know, you're you 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 seem like the strong, silent type. So you're probably like you don't seem like you're super engaged in like a lot of conversation, as much as you know you you nod along and you'd say yeah, sure. And then you know you're it's just kind of going, and it and after a while you realize you've been walking on this street, like this block, or what seems like about like 20, 30 minutes. And I don't mean like traveling through 20, 30 minutes. I mean, like you'd swear you've been walking on this block nice. for like 30 minutes. Like the, that, like that, like that, like blasted out um, McDonald's to your right is still right there. Even though you've been walking this whole time. I imagine they still have uh, French fries. So, well, they they probably had French fries, but after a decade, they're probably more like mold fries, if that. Not necessarily. Well, I'm, I'm not sure how even processed potato. What, so, what do you do right now. I would like to investigate a mystery. What? what on my own. What are you doing? Uh, I'm wondering what happened. Like hmm. where? If if I'm if I'm suddenly gone, but walking this this same block forever, and that McDonald's is constantly on my right, I want to figure out what what's going on. Well, then. So you're wondering what's going on, but specifically, what are you doing to investigate that? Um, so let's say that I'm just going to backtrack and see if I can't get out of this long stretch of the same thing. Um, maybe like turn a, turn a alleyway, um, or try to go back where I came from, just to figure out if there's some kind of end to this madness all right well you turn like there's i mean there's an alleyway right up in front of you 
and you you can turn down that and it looks like a normal alleyway there's you know dumpsters there's gar there's garbage there's rubble and you walk do you want to walk down the alleyway yeah cool so you walk down the alleyway and i mean there's a really obvious exit at the other end of it and you walk you know, you you pass through the alleyway you walk out back onto the street and you're right back where you were next to that burnt like that blasted out mcdonald's uh as you recognize this as as this happens though uh you hear a voice from it's it's not nearby but it's not distant it's just kind of it's it's just if it, it's close but it ain't right next to you but you can't see anyone and it says what what do you want chosen one Um, I just want to fulfill my purpose. I'm here to to help my my boy David uh, get rid of evil and fulfill whatever destiny has in store for me. It's never been laid out super clear, so I'm trying to just figure out what it is or or die trying. Yeah, that's that sounds nice, but. Wouldn't wouldn't you rather just not deal with all that? That sounds like a lot of hassle. I mean, wouldn't you rather just just settle down, have a normal life, you know, meet some meet someone, you know, maybe have some kids, adopt some kids, whatever. You know, I've I've never had a normal life, and I'm not going to start now. So I'm I'm here to. Help out my crew. We're going to see this thing to the end. Well, if you if you are not going to be reasonable, chosen one, then you can stay here. And with that, I want to go back to David and Sniffer. All yep. right, what do you want to do? I was about to use magic, in which I was going to try and... Uh... Banish a spirit or curse from the person, object, or place it inhabits. Um, so because of the shadows going the wrong way, um, I am assuming that this place has a spirit or curse in it that needs to be cleansed. So I'm going to try to use magic to do that. Okay. Yeah. Give me a roll. Uh, I got a nine. Okay. Um, I will choose the effect that I mentioned to banish the spirit or curse. Um, and for my glitch, I will say that uh, the effect is of short duration. So I am... Uh, holding up my sword uh, upside down so that it resembles a cross and I am praying to the Lord to banish the unclean spirits from this area. Well, the Lord does answer your prayer. The, as, as, you, as you pray the, the light, the sunlight streams down into this, onto this street, and the shadows recoil. Like, just, I mean, you watch them move, as opposed to, like, moving in, like, regular sunlight. No, they just jump back, twist in on themselves, and this, like, I mean, it's... Could you really call it even a thing? Just a shadowy shape retreats in, ret just retreats as best it can away from, away from the Lord's light. Mm. And does this reveal Eon to us? No. 
Uh, I really want to ask if we can see the McDonald's, but David doesn't know that you described a McDonald's. To yeah. Me. <laughs> um, hmm. But if, if you want to ask that later. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you, you definitely now have a thing nearby. Okay. That could potentially be killed. All right. Can I do a read a bad situation roll? Watching all this go down. Yeah, this 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 situation don't seem good. So yeah. Okay. Roll, roll me roll me plus sharp. Ah, that is gonna be a nine. Okay, that's that's hold one. Um, did you have a spit? Did you have which question did you want to ask? Um. Uh, this is an interesting one. Uh. I'm going to ask what's most vulnerable to me, just because I think that's the most interesting one, <laughs> given that I am not tough, but I am very sharp and kind of weird and cool. Yes, to all of those things. Uh, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. So what Real quick, um, what weapons do you have? Uh, I have a nine millimeter uh, handgun. I've got a f my flashlight, uh, which is like the heavy one that I can use as a club. And I have my butterfly knife folding knife. And it's not a weapon, but we've also established I have my, my lucky lighter. Yes. Okay. Um... and maps and probably a box of push pins yeah. for, you know, if I find a convenient cork board. Oh, and some spider thread as well. Some of that golden spider thread plus a lighter. So, mm. you know. Well, I mean, hey. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to parse this question in a way that isn't just like, yeah, do this versus like telling you nothing. Yeah. Uh, it's tricky trying to parse yeah. out that information and yeah. This is why I like Apocalypse World proper. Because yeah. it has oodles and oodles of examples ah. that I could read quickly and go, ah, here's an idea. Let's close this together. Yeah, apologies for this. I'm I'm literally trying to wrap my head around how to apply what you're asking to this situation in a way that is relevant, non-dismissive, and functional. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if it helps, there is also the fact that we are uh, up at or approaching ending time here for our session. Yeah. yeah. No, that's... I, so. Yeah, it may be just... Yeah. Air on the side of too much. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to say that you, you've, you've watched it recoil from the divine light that David brought down. Mm-hmm. And maybe another, like, maybe it would be somewhat vulnerable to another flash of light um, of any mysticality. Hmm. Hey, David. Yo. Bless my flashlight. Oh, should I actually roll? Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. 
Okay, so yeah, I am gonna need I am gonna need you to roll roll plus weird for that. Um, oh dear. It's a six. Ooh, oh, how? That's ooh. Just too much sin coming off me for this to work. No, you know what? Um, we are almost no. at the end, so I'm spinning luck. I'm gonna make it a twelve. All right. Oh. Okay. Well, I had a I had a if if you can go with that. Okay. I'm going to uh, be doomed in one more luck point, so. <laughs> well, would you, would you, I actually had a really nice idea if you didn't want to spend that luck. All right, you know what? Go ahead. Let's do yeah, your thing. Yeah, do your thing. Okay. So you go, you, you move to bless her, bless um, Sniffer's flashlight. And as you do, you feel that maybe you maybe calling on the divine this much is the divine wants you to work this out you know you make your own luck but in in that moment My the shadow just and well you see eon again oh, and, hey. it's, and it's kind of not dank but shadowed reflection of the world you you came from and the the vo the voice that you had been conversing with eon says oh well if you want to if you want to play it that way and three figures three shadowy smoky figures rise from the ground one of one for each of you and one of each of you Oh boy! Oh gosh! Well, let's kill him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But first, I'm gonna point out that there is a McDonald's here, and I think their fries are probably still good. That place is burned out, Eon. I'm, I'm just I'm letting you know. I will when check it out over, when this is over. Know, we, we'll when check this it is out. over, we can go see if they have fries. It's an interesting oh, science experiment. You, as your, sh as your. Sh as your mirror shadow rushes at you, it speaks in the voice saying, will you stop looking at that damn McDonald's? Oh, it's that's... just a McDonald's. Oh my God, it's a mirror universe opposite of you, Eon. Uh, it's <laughs> rushing at him? Yes. I would like to roll to protect someone. Nice. Oh okay. boy. So, um, that's a tough. Yeah, yeah, roll me plus tough. I have a nine. Okay. Um, then you protect him from the harm it was going to do him. Um, but you are going to suffer that two harm instead. And does my armor reduce that by one? Yeah, your armor will do. Will your armor will reduce that by one? Okay. Um, I would like to counterattack this being. You gonna? What are you doing? I am swinging my magic sword at his shadowy eon neck. All righty. So kick some ass. Yes, sir. Uh, so that's a, a six on the die, but I get plus one for ancient fighting arts. Oh, actually, um... What's your tough? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, my tough is two, so six ma makes it eight, but Ancient Fighting Arts actually should have given me a plus one to that Protect Someone roll, which would have made my nine oh. a ten. Okay. Um, then... <laughs> well, which one of those do you want? I want to inflict harm on the enemy. All right. So you are going to give me just a sec. Let's say All righty. So you have just is that so What's the harm on your uh, magic sword? It's three, but it's it's three base, but when it's en enchanted, it becomes four. Four? Yeah, and if um, 
and with ancient fighting arts, it becomes five. Ooh. Well, your fancy magic sword cuts right through that shadow, that shadowy reflection, and it dissipates into sh- into shadowy smoke. Nice. Uh, that said, there are still two more. Four of them. Yeah. Who, upon upon in response to that. Um, uh, this is that happened. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So you defend, you, you swung your sword to defend Eon. Um, blah. So, uh, Eon is distracted by McDonald's. <laughs> Is that is that is that somewhat somewhat valid? I wouldn't say I was distracted by it. I was just pointing it out when they when they showed up. Okay, Sniffer, what are you up to in this? Uh, well, I'm seeing that a fight is inevitable here, uh, and that I can't really get out of it. I am going to attempt to move where I want to look like I'm start to charge at my shadow. And then at the last second, though, I turn and I hit the one that is... I'm also going to strike at the one that's going for Eon that David has engaged with. Because uh, well, I want to use... Sorry. I've, I've killed that one. Oh, you killed it? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yes. Bummer. Smoke. Okay. Sorry, I, I missed that. That's um, okay. What, what uh, was your plan? Oh, I was going to try to get it from behind because I get additional damage all rogue style uh, <laughs> if I if I hit from ambush or from behind. Um, uh, do you want to wait for me to engage another one and then you hit it from behind? Uh, yes. I will get myself into position so that I am uh, to the side and out of the way. All right. And I'm going to make Whoa. myself all big and puffy distraction style. Yeah, or okay, I. Well, mm-hmm. And but, real quick, um, Sniffer, if you're trying to get out of the way, can you can you roll me plus cool? Yeah, is this an act under pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. I wish I had rolled an attack. Uh, that's gonna be a uh, ten. Well, then there you go. You totally get you. You were you managed to be, despite this shadow of you, being probably as as uh, observant and full of attention to detail as you are. Mm-hmm. You have slipped its attention. Yep. Okay. Yeah, what 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 are you up to right now? So I do want to take a swing at uh, the closest one to me. I'm going to say that is the David Shade, which is currently brandishing a ethereal shotgun. <laughs> Please take it out. Well, I will uh, hit him with a 10. All uh, right. Which is going to give ass. him one, two, three. It's going to be a uh, three harm and what I'd like to do is kind of wrap my chain around him and force him where I want him to go which is going to be right into the other shadow okay yeah it, that seems like you heard it but good um, and you're so what you want it to be next to the other shadow well, like I just want to like shove it into the other shadow so even though they are shadows, I do want them to collide if that's possible. Or at least it'll move right through it. Okay, no, that's... Um, yeah, so you whip your chain around it, and it just... It's, it catches, which is, which is weird, because these things seem to be made of shadow and smoke. Um, and as you whip it... Um, whip it, attempting to swing it into the shadow, the shade of Sniffer. It does get a shot off on you for two harm. 
Just one harm with my armor, but so okie dokie. Um, but you do knock you do knock them into each other, and I mean they don't really like bump into each other. They seem to just kind of discorporate for a second. But it does seem to um, stun them. Yeah. So Sniffer or David, you got something you want to follow that up with? That sounds like a wonderful opportunity for Sniffer to attack from behind uh, while they are discombobulated. Uh, and I don't get any bonuses to my attack, but I do get bonuses to my harm. So I'm going what, to... What are you attacking with? Click on my flashlight, and I just go for it like with a club. Like, okay. I'm literally gonna hit them with a light and hope for the best. Uh, All right, are you, which one are you swinging at? Uh, whichever one is closest to me. Uh, but well, they've just smashed into each other, so they're kind of in the same other. place. I'll say that it's Eon, actually. Eon um, is dead. Eon's shadow is dead. Oh, that's Eon's the one. Dead. Sorry, it's David then. And, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, David's taking some David's so shadow. David's shadow is the one that has Eon's chain wrapped around it. Oh, perfect. And, yeah. Okay. I like an enemy that's already disadvantaged. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, that wasn't good. I only got a five. You can my... spend a luck. I can. I'm going to spend a luck and make that a 12. Okay. Um, real quick. Just just because I'm curious if I can if I can fit that in. Mm -hmm. um, what's your luck special? My luck special? Uh, when I spend a point of luck, I pick an aspect of the current situation and you tell me what other conspiracies it attaches to. Oh wow, yeah. I mean I mean you're literally fighting shadow people. Oh my <laughs> gosh, <laughs> yes. This might this has to have some connection to the wider shadow person conspiracy. Yeah, I have so many pictures of weird unexplained shadows. I am like <sighs> freaking out right now. It's amazing. There's a folder full of them in that drawer you have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, so what? how much harm do you deal with that? Well, uh, it says that my, my sneaky trait, I inflict plus two harm when I attack from ambush. So how much I, harm does the weapon so deal that's, normally? Uh, and my, this weapon normally does one harm. So I wasn't entirely clear if I get that, if that's a plus two total or if that's... It, it would be a plus two. All right, so it's um, three. Yeah. And so, so what I'm going to say here, and if you don't like where I'm going with this, let me know and I will rework it. Mm. Um, you go to club the David shade, but you don't really club it with the with the flashlight you actually club it with the beam of light lightsaber from the yes so that it just yeah it, it you, you beat it down it's it's totally it's done yeah um that said while you were doing that oh yeah um like you do that and that was enough time for this for the for me oh my god the me I can, shadow i can read this yeah the sniffer shadow sorry um, to just discorporate and recorporate next to you, and it bops you. It bops you for one with its shadowy. Uh... Wait, I want to roll to protect someone. Okay. All right. I am gonna protect the real Smith from the evil sniffer. Um, six, seven, eight, nine. 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 Okay, well, you, you, you see, you see it discorporate and think. You, I mean, you, you've, you've been dealing with monsters for, like, what your whole life. Yeah. You, you got a good idea what this thing's doing, so you were able to get in there, like she knocks the, the like your shade down. You shove, you kind of shove her aside, as it, as her shade recorporates, and bops you for two help for two harm well that's going to be one harm because of the armor um and i will now retaliate with an attack it's five six seven 
Um, it's seven. Okay. Um, so the harm is going to be uh, five again. I'm sorry, what was that? How much harm do you do? Five. Okay, well, you trade you trade some blows with it. It it goes down, but you do take another two harm. Okay, I am um, I am unstable. You're unstable. I am unstable. I now have five harm on me. Okay, well, we will get to that in a hot minute um, because right now. You, as you uh, cut down her shade, you hear just this crazy scream, you son of a bitch, as the shadows melt around you and you are back in the regular world and not the shadow world. And yes, there is a McDonald's right next to you, but it's still like really messed up and, you know, a normal person wouldn't try to eat there. <laughs> but the chosen Nobody ever, accused, uh, ever <laughs> accused us of being normal. <laughs> but huzzah, you feel another weight lifted as you've defeated another one of the sorcerer's shades. Nice. All right. So, yeah, unstable wounds. Let's see if I'm doing anything with that. And assume that we're looking. Is there a way to heal? I don't know if there's a healing mechanic. Oh, nice. That's that's a lovely. Um. Okay. So yeah, your your wounds are gonna require first aid to stabilize. Yeah. And while they're unstable, they they can get worse. Yep. Um, I'm aware of that. I don't know how first aid works. You know what? That's that's a good point. I'm seeing yeah. that routine first aid heals one point of harm for a single injury or condition and takes a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay to take a few minutes right here. Yeah. But it'll yeah. only get you one. Heals one point of harm. I need to heal two before I'm stable. Yeah. You. Uh, treated. All right. Um. Ooh. Serious oh. wounds require treatment. You're normally unstable. Uh. Do any of you have a healing move? No. And I can use magic. Hey! Oh, I was, I was getting to that. Um, so basically, if you want, if David needs to heal, you are going to have to get him to some kind of infirmary. Um, or like an infirmary or emerg like an ER. Or you're going to have to try and put a magic spell together for him. Oh, fun. Well, uh, regular first aid can take care of one point, and if you can magic away the other, then, then I'm good. Yeah, let me All right. roll some dice. Yep. Yeah, you... but, okay, real quick, though, um, that healing spell, it's going to take you... Like to gather the um, resources for it, he's probably going to take the better part of the rest of your day. Uh, it, the herbs and such that you need. Uh, so, one thing that Sniffer noticed and is coming to mind now is that in Genesis Park. There was, there is a, uh, or at least there was a, what is that thing? It's a place you go to and it's full of plants. A conservatory? Thank you. There, or there was one a of those. Yeah. Um, 
So if like if you go there, there should be um, good like an abundance of herbs and uh, plants and such that can you can use to craft a decent healing spell. Yes, um, my healing spells are all tomato based. <laughs> Given the uh, given the necessity of pause in the story and the lateness of the hour in real life, do we want to put a pin in this and schedule a sequel? I'm I'm okay with that. Um, if like if something, if one of the if one of these games falls through or something, or if there's a spot that opens up, I am definitely down with continuing this sure. yeah because i don't think we have time to hunt down a whole nother shade and then kill a sorcerer oh no you and don't heal. yeah no. really it's don't. way too but long um that's okay. I, I i i am personally very happy with all that you've you've accomplished tonight you've been valiant Ooh. and brave and it's been really exciting. And thank you, thank you for letting me run this for you. Thank it you for running really it. This is great. Game. I yes. have to tell you how much I really enjoy sitting down at this table and not having to be the one with the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, I I understand that quite a bit. Yes. Yeah, this is a really fun uh, yeah. game. As, um, as someone who generally has to be the person to do that when I get to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, like it, it, it's nice to like those first few games of like that we were playing for this for Shadows of the Backlog were it, it was <laughs> I was surprised at how great it felt to just go, oh, I'm just playing. Yeah. I don't have to keep track of this and this yeah. and this and this and this. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, and it's so yeah, no, I I one hundred percent get that and I am happy to I am happy to be doing this. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm liking how this is going. So, yeah, I would love to come back to this. Great. Um, so we have, um, it, for those of you watching, first of all, thank you for dropping by and watching. Um, if you're not familiar with our stream, I know we got a raid tonight. Thank you for coming. Um, we play different games every Monday. Sometimes we go one or two sessions, sometimes three very occasionally. Um, but this game, Monster of the Week, was only scheduled for one session, and we've gone over. So um, next week we have a different game called Survive the Night, which will be GM'd by Brian Crenshaw, uh, the writer of said game. Uh, after that we have a week off, and then Star Trek Adventures, and then I think we've got other stuff already scheduled through the end of May. So like Jason said, if something gets canceled, we'll, we'll pick up here where we left off. Otherwise, I guess uh, you've got till June to uh, to plan the ending here. Yay! Yeah, I just, to, I just get to put that in right after the yeah. last two games. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, uh, the benefit of this for you is that there's a recording of it, so we can all refresh our memories yes. before yes. we go into the next one. Um, no, I'm and I am excited for those two games. I'm, I'm actually really excited. For those, so. Yes, and uh, there is also good. another one coming up that I think so far only Matt has signed up to play. I forget which one it is, but uh, if if no one else signs up, then we may want to just plug this in there. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. Yeah. So we yeah. have... Um, just to credit us out, if you're watching us on Twitch right now, please go to our YouTube channel. Link is below. You can uh, go there, watch all our back episodes, including the 68 previous episodes of our 5th edition D&D campaign over on Friday nights. Um, also, come back this Friday for episode 69 of that. Um, that campaign is called Shadows of Arconia. It's what the name of our channel comes from. Um, next week we'll be back here on Monday night, 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, to play sh uh, Survive the Night. Um, and also, please join our Discord. We'd love to talk to you. We're all in there. We hang out. We talk about D&D &D and other games uh, such as this one. So um, thanks for watching. Thank you, Jason, for running this game tonight and yes. for uh, running others coming up. And, and thank you to Matt and Sarah for joining us. 
and we will uh, we'll see you guys another time. Good night. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.